I do feel a little bit like Ben Affleck in Good Will Hunting when he gives that speech to Matt Damon. Every time I turn the corner down the hallway, I'm oh, hoping you. for a second, just one Why? second. Why? Oh, it's me now that you want out of here. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> one by one. No, I'm just, just tell me to leave. I'm just kidding. Of course, of course, I'm just kidding. I'm yes. kidding. Uh, so what's going on, boys? Everyone have a, a good weekend? Great. Oh, fantastic. Good. Wonderful. Well, what are you weekend. pausing? Why would you sigh? Why would I sigh? Yeah. I asked you that, yes. As he buys time. <laughs> Jeez, the ultimate was okay, time a little sickly, and you know. Nobody wants to hear about your stupid sick kids. All you ever do is bitch about your kids. I was sick. Not well, that. You too, you're always sick with this dumb asthma. It's a very sickly household. What, what's wrong with you? I don't know, I kind of have like flu-like type of symptoms. Why are you the here window. then? I don't know, I'm not going to give anybody the flu. I got it from Justin, he was sick last week. Why I was did, sick why, this weekend. Why were you here then? I'm fine, I'm not going to give it I wasn't sick last week. No, though. Justin, why were you here if you were sick? The place would shut down. Everyone I, left I was sick Friday, Saturday. Oh, okay. With what? I had strep and double ear infection. And then, yeah, you feel fine? Yeah, I'm on antibiotics. I feel Did you, you didn't work the golf course? No, not this weekend. Jesus, fucking amateur hour. Amateur hour. You want someone with strep throat giving you hot talks? No, I don't. I, I, I suppose I not. do. I, yeah, I suppose not. I don't <laughs> it's, a, it's a, in my search history. Well, anyway, we're, oh, if you're listening to this, by the way, I don't know what time it'll post today. I assume what, what time do we usually post? Mm, usually 12 30, 1 o'clock. A little lazy. Steve, when you used to do Red 13, Mike would post much earlier than Dave posted. I remember. Now. We'd have it up at 9, 9 30 sometimes. <laughs> I remember. So yeah, you, I don't know why you don't do that. You would they, record they, at would 7 30. Would Steve post it to the, uh, Red 13 to post earlier or later than post now? Earlier. That's Always. all that's, that's all I'm asking. Yes. That's yeah. all right? True or false? Sure. Absolutely true. I'd love to do earlier. I'd love it. What do you mean? I'd love to do the show at 7.30. I mean, I'm happy to do that. Let's not get crazy. I can't. I mean, I've, I've you know, still school. Uh, maybe in the oh, summer true. we can. I, okay. I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. uh, uh, if you're listening and you're in the Boston area tonight, I think there's still a few tickets available for the foreplay uh, show, which I think Dave and Justin are going to be at. We will be there. Huh? Yes, there are plenty of tickets. And I'll be there. Uh, well, I looked yesterday. There's not as many as there were a few weeks ago. That's for sure. On a leg room, as they say. Yeah. So we'll be there. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, Toward, after the big playoff game, I'll be flying down. Uh, I don't know either ninety three or Route two to get into uh, into the Wilbur, which will be a slight pain, as I said, the park there and walk. But I'll do it. It's fine. You I like stick rigs. around and watch the game after. Uh, I think they're doing a, a watch party. Oh, so really? Yeah, I assume I'll do. It. Yeah, like, in the Wilbur. Do you think they're mm, just going to put it on the? I would think the Wilbur probably wouldn't do that. I yeah. know. I think they're probably going to go to some bar of a select. I, I have no idea. Yeah, but I, they I, probably have it till eleven, eleven thirty, right? Yeah, but the game's not gonna be over till after that. I, I don't yeah. know. The Wilbur has a hard out, right? Isn't that wasn't that one of our issues yeah. initially? Like midnight. Yeah, but you're or? doing two shows, so they're only doing one, right? But I think if you have one show, they still kick you out. Like, but I'm saying, even if it's, even if it's midnight, the game might not be over at that point. I don't even know. Yeah. I have no. I would have the idea of me being up at the end of that basketball game. When I say I haven't seen one second of this series, I haven't seen one second. I don't really? No, 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 no. I mean, I've seen highlights, but I haven't watched a second. Yeah, of the I thought you would have interest at least early on and check it, check in at times. No, I just started watching the show, which I'm sure I am way late to this game. Is this Nathan for you show? Oh, it's amazing. So funny. It's the fucking best show <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Unreal. It's the greatest television show, second to all in the family, of all time. How funny. Literally, I love this guy. Uh, season one. Oh, okay. I, I, I love this guy. Yes. He's the yeah. greatest. He's yeah, the book him, Dave, would you? Yep. <laughs> He's great. Nathan Fielder. Nathan Fielder. Yeah, so he doesn't tremendous. do a lot. He worked on Sasha Baron Cohen's show. Right, I looked him up. I didn't even. Uh, I, how did I miss the show? Was it on Comedy Central? Yes, that's probably why. The fuck yeah. did I, but I mean, still, how did I miss this in my life? I didn't watch it till after it was on either. Like I watched it on Hulu probably two years ago. I mean, I want to do the thing we talk about. How funny, certain parts are, but it's like it's really. Like, I, I, to me, like, recapping comedy is stupid, but... I, I disagree. <laughs> How do you mean? Strongly. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, I, having a, a good discussion about history is different. I'm not going to be like, remember that part? That was awesome. I see. I got you. But what I'm saying is, it's very funny. I recommend it highly. It is available on Amazon Prime now, I believe. Oh, okay. Or Hulu. It was on Hulu when I watched it. But. Amazon. There's no commercial, so it's Amazon Prime. Gotcha. Maybe I have Hulu with no commercial. I don't know. You fucking look it up. So why are you bitching me? Why are you bitching to me, Mike? Let's fucking look it up. I'm sorry. Who very, is, very funny. Who is this guy? Nathan Fielder? Who is he? He's very funny. Mike just said he worked with... Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. Which you can... I, I would say there's a... Influence? He, I would say he yeah. owes some to... Uh, yeah. For sure. But that's but, okay. I mean, it's, t it's totally original. Like... His ideas are very funny. And I don't know. I don't know who's in on it. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, clearly. Yep. Does, yeah. it, I, there are some I, people that I've suspected are. You know, but if uh, they people, are, I, they're doing I, I, a tremendous yeah, job. Yeah, I got like people are staying overnight and, and, and like sleeping in tents if they're not in on over $10. <laughs> to some on extent. Gap. Like, right. I feel like there's. But that's. But you but, know what? It's a show. So but I, he did have stuff. You might remember certain things. Like, I don't know if you got to the dumb Starbucks thing. I know. I don't think like I that legitimately went viral before anyone knew who Nathan Fielder was. Okay. And before the show aired. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think the viral video that they filmed also was legitimately like a viral yeah. thing before the show was ever on. And then you found out like, oh, Nathan Fielder did this. Right. So I don't know if it's funny. And like I said, I'm sure I'm late to the game. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. But it's very funny. So anyway, I'd rather watch that than basketball. I would agree. So that's me. I'm an old man. This is season two. So you're binging season one right now? What are you talking about? What do you mean? The Nathan, is that what you, didn't you say? It's There's like, been like four seasons. Four seasons. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's done. It was like 2014 yeah. or something, right? Yeah, 13 yeah. to 17. Thir- yeah. 13 to 17? Yeah, so I mean, I'm way, you know, I, I, who knows? I, I don't know. It was very funny. Anyway, high recommendation. Did you book Nathan Fielder yet? Uh, not yet. How are the guests I'm doing? on it. I'm on it. Eh, the guests are light communication, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. yeah Freddie, light. fresh up a 68 yesterday, bogey free. <sighs> I saw that. Holy saw some shit. of the people on Twitter who definitely are in on the joke, like who <laughs> thought that, you know... <laughs> When Proud you're congratulating man. a 62-year-old for shooting a 68 to move in the 40th place of the Champions Tour sad. event. This is sad. We just want him on your show. <laughs> I don't want to be the guy who mocks people. Out there. I mean, like, can we... Do you know who, like, do you know who I am yet? Like, are we, are we in this together or are we not, people? Like, are you all that stupid? Who knows? Right. I don't know. Anyway, but I am very proud of him. Bogey free. That's very nice. Uh, and it was the biggest golf story in the world yesterday. And good luck to anybody who wants to go to Brookline this week. You are out of your fucking mind. Good luck trudging around that place. You're going, right, Dave? On Friday, yes. Oh, yeah. Great. Well, Sounds like we're fun. not working Friday, Mike. Dave's oh. Going, Dave's going to the golf tournament. <laughs> who knew? He's got stuff to Must do. Must be nice to have that schedule where you guarantee you're not working oh, okay. Actually, I, I would love it. Sheets to, to get out of it. I'd love to get out of it. Who are you going you with? Work? My buddy, Mike. Mike Deneen, the famous Mike Deneen. Why do you want to get out of it? How is he famous? I don't know. I just said yes to it a long time ago. We called him one time. Oh, yeah. Deneen. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so you're going, okay, where, where are you going to go? Uh, oh, what the, where are you going to go no out idea. of? I haven't looked into any of that stuff. You have to get a shuttle, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you're going to be, BC has one, I think. Ugh. I think they said, uh, Jesus, what's the place uh, in Dedham? Dedham Mall or whatever? No, no, the outdoor one, right? No. Oh, Legacy, Legacy place? place? Yeah, I think yeah. they said there are buses there. Ugh. God. That sounds like fun. You can't just bus park close. Like, there's not just I don't know that. to pay for close or something. Uh, I'll ask ask the guys tonight. Right. Oh, true. They'll, they'll yeah. have answers for you. You and Kiz. Huh? You and Kiz tonight. Me and Kevin Kisner. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Exciting. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I have no idea how they're going to do it. I don't know how that's going to work. I imagine I'll just show up and bullshit for like 20 minutes. I guess. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm, if you don't know by now, I'm assuming that's got to be what it is. Yeah. Just go on, turn on my charm, and leave. That's right. I suppose. It's a long day. That's a late... I don't know. Boston? I wish they did it. I mean, I'm doing it in Boston, too, but I'm doing it on a weekend. Yeah. Ugh, Monday night in Boston. At least... Up against the finals, too. Yeah. At least it's not in Boston. I'll fucking forget it. That would suck. Thursday night, I think, is in Boston, right? Yes. The U.S. Open, and the Red Sox are playing home that day. Oof. Couldn't pay me... a lot of fun. You're not going... You said Friday, right? Friday, yeah. You couldn't pay me $50 $50 million I wouldn't go to Boston that day. I'm dead serious. Put in front of me... That's why, like, you know, cash, I wouldn't do it. No fucking way. I got my wallet today. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Don't even forget it. You, 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 try again. Wouldn't do it. Huh? I'd want to go today, right? Practice rounds are probably more fun, right? I don't know how much fun they are. Yeah. You're walking around. I mean, I don't know. Well, the guys are shooting the shit with you, right? Like, Phil's there. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. He'll pull over. Yeah, he'll talk Phil to you for like an hour. Phil's shooting the shit with you. Yeah, that, sounds like, like that, does, that does sound like fun. Shoot he'll the shit hi. with you? He'll say hi. No, he won't. You know how many people are going to be there today? Like 40,000. Oh, wow. It's going to be a shit meeting. There's going to be eight people there. I mean, you get John Rahm's going to be like, oh, you want, you want to hit the seven iron here, Dave? I didn't pull the trigger, but I, it's only 75 bucks to get a ticket to the Live Golf event in Bolton. So I got to do that. We're, I thought we we're doing a live show from there. Uh, we're, I'm definitely going to reach out to them. About definitely. It. Yeah. I want to have yeah. all those guys on. Yep. I, yep. I'm all, look, I'm a kingdom guy. Like if they're, if they're going to throw us the money, why not? Sure. They, they are, they have slowly now, they're so stupid. I was actually thinking about the tweet before Portnoy of all people articulated perfectly. They are fucking PJ Tour is going to lose this battle to Saudi Arabia <laughs> by turning us into like I understand the families of 9/11. I really do understand, but no human being thinks that Jay Monahan like is this is the reason why they're upset with the Live Golf Tour. They're upset because it's providing competition to them. Sure, they allowed these guys to play. They gave them exemptions to play in the tournament in Saudi Arabia this year. Well, I'll last say year, the year before, the did, way that it's not a lie is in that. They know that people, like genuine people, will be morally outraged, and that's who they care about losing their money. <laughs> so it is about money, but because of that. You know uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, he's just full of shit. I, whatever. I, I'm, I'm a little lived out. I, I don't know. If they ask me about it tonight, maybe I'll comment on it. Maybe. I, I have no idea. You think idea. it might come up? I don't know. I, don't, I have no I don't. I'm going in there without a net. I don't know what they're going to have me do wacky golf tricks. Who knows? That would know. be. <laughs> like the price is right, you know, when Bob Barker would putt. <laughs> right. Which I loved as a kid when I was sick. It would make me feel. I was like, oh, please let this be the episode where Bob putts. Yeah. You're like Letterman. You've got to fucking bounce the yeah, golf ball. On I the- could do that. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Gerald uh, Callahan yesterday. Wow. Uh, about the Norm special, which he thought was okay. Okay. But we were talking about, like, it's hard to describe 
uh, not really, but to a generation, like how important Letterman was to us. Yeah. To Jerry, even Jerry's age and my age, like that was the window. Like Jerry's 60 now, I'm 40. Like that 15 year window when I was a kid, like late 80s, early 90s, Letterman was like a revelation. Like I saw comedy. I was like, oh, you can like do a show like this. People think like this. And now he's just this cr- like this boring old fuck, like hosting these stupid shows. I'm like, not, boy, it's gone. Not only that, because I like, so he has some new show where he's like showcasing kind of younger yeah, stand ups. Yeah. Where I like that idea because it's Letterman attaching his name to people that you sure. wouldn't know. But what I can't wrap my mind around is this guy who goofed on celebrities and the idea of interviewing and caring about celebrities forever. And that's how he made his career is now sitting down with like Will Smith and yeah, Kim like, Kardashian. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, just like Aaron Rodgers. You're like, just a fucking loser. And I pretend to be like fascinated by yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, what's going on? What's going on today? Where, where do you want to start today? It's, uh, it's, your, it's, your, it's your world. Old Friend has a new song, if you'd like to hear it. Linda Marks has a new song about the Texas shooting, if you'd like to hear it. Yeah. Oh, God. I know, I know you're I not a hoping. fan of hers anymore. Well, it's not that I'm not a fan of her. We've gone over this as I look yeah. at her right now. She tried to really... You were there, Dave, right? You were there at the pitch. was. Yeah, you were there. Yes. Yeah. Were you there, Justin? I was. Yeah. Yes. Mike was there. The whole gang. Uh, she really tried to take over that day. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. But <laughs> without singing. I kind of thought it was her thing. Is that yeah. not the case? Look at the picture up there. There's yeah. me and my arms spread out. Uh, there's my brother, Ryan. He's next to somebody who looks like my parents. I don't know who that person is. Okay. Uh, I believe my brother, Ryan, made out with that person that day. Yes. Memory serves. Correctly. Really? Yeah. I thought it was incest at the time, but it's not actually. They're not brothers anymore, so it's ah, actually fine. Well, that's good. A nice yeah. loophole. Yeah. Sucked them off, too. That's okay, right? <laughs> well, that seems a little drastic. What well, they did their traditional Minahan snowball, yeah. they used to call it. Well, he's it, a married which man. Is he which not, is a, right? which was a Christmas, <laughs> Which was a Christmas trick we, they would do every year. I don't know. <laughs> My mom would be like, there's the mistletoe snowball. And I'm like, mom, this feels inappropriate to me. Like, Who knew, right? I mean, it was the 70s. Sure. Uh, and there's Linda Marks just standing there like the fucking... The queen of the show. That's right. Thank you, folks. Yeah, yeah. I know you're all here for me. She never felt like is, she was in on the joke either. Is like Twat strong or no? Ah, uh, no. no. Okay. No. Okay. I, think I like her. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Particularly, I, she I didn't perform. So. You know. That How do you mean real. by that? How do you mean by that? Well, you know what I mean. The way Jesus, Ryan did. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mike. It's always with you and that. <laughs> no, I'm sure she's a nice old lady, but you know, but she did like a three-hour show the night before. Her right? voice was hoarse. And, 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 and then she didn't even know the words, the heroes, and it was just, you know. Well, she yeah. wanted to play it through her phone. Right. Like a call name for the Wilbur being like, hey, should we have Linda Mark sing heroes at it? Well, it's like, just the, how dated is that idea, Well, Mike? there's nostalgia it'd be, to that. Uh, it'd be a nice nah, touch. The people would enjoy it. Absolutely not. You just got to toss yeah. ideas. I have no interest in the people them. enjoying the show. The oh, moment. well then. <laughs> None. Okay. None. Each show will be 10 minutes. Well, some might hate it if yeah. that helps. Yeah. Oh, people will hate it. No matter what. You think anybody's going to like that? Pretend <laughs> Nobody will actually like the show. Everyone's going like, to bitch about it. Like, bitch about everything. Right. Uh, anyway, that's what we have the YouTube channel for, so people can hate the show. Yes. All right, so uh, Linda Marks has a new song about the Texas shooting. Yeah, that's her new thing yeah. now, right? It's like any you. any big issue. Oh yeah, I know she's always done it, but any Does big. She issue. think this is worse than the Ortiz shooting. Um, and she's definitely she's definitely hurt by it all. I know that. For I know. Sure. I'm surprised. She's not pro. She's not for it. She's definitely not for okay, it. Well, that's good. Yeah. What's that, Mike? What I was it? just waiting. Like when that happened, I was like, I mean, it's horrible. These kids are dead, but. We're probably going to get a little little ditty out of it. That's so I true. was excited. That's a good point. I heard Lester Holt say that. That's right. Shooting. <laughs> <laughs> he said, gang, if we can get some perspective, Linda Marks is probably going to make a smash hit out of this. I do feel like him asking the, the principal of that school that question. It, was, <laughs> it was, seemed, seemed inappropriate. But, but he's a journalist. All right, let's hear it. Hold on. First of all, I'm stunned at the start of this song. I thought there'd be a little, a little guitar, a little some drums some maybe. <laughs> So it's not like, you know, it's not like, um, like, you know, like Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Like, it's not Linda Marks and, right? It's just, she doesn't I believe have, it's just Linda Marks. It's all her. No. She's like Prince. Prince literally did albums by himself. Right. So she's like Prince. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully. Go ahead. <laughs> Please don't bring me flowers at my grave. Don't tell me my death proves that I'm brave. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 
I believe she's coming from the perspective of the dead children. I think so. I'm assuming. Right. Perhaps it's a spoiler. Maybe you're not supposed to know that. Can I say so far for once? I'm kind of like, all right. Just like, fuck this like thoughts and prayers stuff. Mm. Okay. Well, if you're thinking that the lyrics are deep, you may regret that thought. <laughs> I must I, I, I suggest that. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no she's, she finds in those pretty quickly. Okay. Traditionally, and hammers it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I like, with it, I, I so far, we're very early in. How long's the song? Uh, it is about three and a half minutes. Okay. Yep. I'm going to give this song so far an A minus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we're 20 seconds in this far. Yeah. yeah. This far? Thus far. Okay, go ahead. Don't tell me my death proves that I'm brave. Remember Columbine <laughs> in 1999. <laughs> no. Who was that? Plus school shooting since that day. Justin made a great point, by the way, before huh? the show. He was saying that, yeah, Linda, I assume, has probably moved on to theaters and things. But mm. at one time, she was performing like libraries and restaurants. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Coffee shops. And so can you imagine, you're having a cover, you're out with uh, Andy Nolan for lunch. That'd be nice. say. Yeah, it's been a while. You're chit-chatting. And then just out of the corner of your ear, you kind of hear... Should I just say Columbine? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, though. I mean, you go, like, hardcore fans go. Oh, you think there's a lot oh, of... Oh, you go yeah. in there for... That, I mean, that's not... We're not... I mean, Heroes is her stairway or Hotel California, but this is like a... This is like a cut where people will sing along. Okay. I think. Okay. Like, 1999s, you, you would yell back to her, I think. Okay. I would think. <laughs> Columbine! She's not... A, please tell me she doesn't have gunshots in the background. No gunshots. That would be cool. Please don't tell my mom to stop her fears. Tears, I think. We shot a hole inside her filled with fear. Ah, not, not even close. Well played, Linda. We numb out our pain. The gun sings our refrain. Buried anger morphs to shrapnel rain. I'm going to say something. This is her good. best song so far. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, like, this is... It actually sounds good. For Coming the first from a perspective time. where, like, I actually think this is her, her, so far, we're about 48 seconds in. Uh, we are just about, let's see, one minute, nine seconds. Oh, well, we're, we're 70 seconds in, yeah. basically. I think this might be her masterpiece. Really? I mean, I know Heroes is her hit. Yeah. But people aren't oh, always. Oh, but critically, this will be. Yeah, like Bruce's point biggest to. hit, yeah. Billboard hit, was Dancing in the Dark. Yeah. Well, that's not his best song, <laughs> but that's, you know, I understand that that's his, his most popular, so or Born to Run. Yeah. Where I think, you know, the real masterpiece is the, you know, the Something in the Nights or the, you know, Jane Needs a Shooter or Straight Bullet or whatever. This is the one that the, right, the critics are going to... The critics and the hardcore fans are going to say, I prefer when she capitalized on the death of children rather than David Ortiz's shooter. <laughs> Not capitalized. She's, she's getting the conversation going in the country. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sorry. I've been saying since it started, this, people, you know, this is, I think of this honestly as like a fuck you to the right with their, you know, mm. this isn't enough with like the thoughts and prayers and God and all. No, no, no. Right. Let's start... If one word rhymes another word, that's how it ends. Yeah, you're saying it's about time someone mentioned gun control. Well, I don't know. Did she get there or no? <laughs> I don't know. We are your children, your daughters and your sons. <laughs> this one hurts. Give us protection. Don't shoot us with your guns. Very good. <laughs> Our in your guiding hands. Ooh. We want to. Build a better land. Life on Earth is frittering away. Uh, every day? Uh, action must be taken now, today. I don't know, I'm close. Guns As we much. simply think and pray. I'm trying to get a point across, Mike. I, I'd just say maybe a little metaphor. Hold on. <laughs> when, she gets to the when she gets to the end of the song, did she say, this is my final stanza, now a word about Adam Lanza? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's, 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 <laughs> it just ends with her saying guns. Oh, guns, 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 guns. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Many factors brought us to this place. Boys. Uh, ooh, race? No. Mental health neglected can erase. Mental health neglected. Okay, all right. The safety that's free when there's community. Social media ooh. induced violence is its fate. 
little bit of mm-hmm. shoehorning warning there. Uh, let, me, let me see. Has Linda Marks used social media to peddle her music in the past? Oh, uh, sure. I'm on her well, Facebook page I mean, right now. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. That's not, I don't know. Social media. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be a better way to do that. <laughs> social media. Social media. As we all naturally say it. <laughs> how, that's well, free. Get back to that second. Oh, you go. Let me, yeah. how, how can you do that better? Let me hear it again. Self neglected. Can he erase? Safety that's free when there's community. Social media. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, how do you do that better? <laughs> What's a better piece of songwriting there? Other, you got you to do it other than social media because you can't do social. I understand that there's a, a timing to it, right? Social network? Definitely not. You see what I'm saying? See? I have to hear, see, let me hear the lyric. He's from the cheap Let me hear the l- lyric again. <laughs> when there's community, social media. Induced violence is its face. Social Twitter. Social inter- networking induced internet? violence. Social internet. No. See what I'm she, saying? I think she chose the right one. I agree. Yeah, it fits. Well, how about just media? No? Mm. Yeah. No? That's not who she's attacking. Social media induced violence. She's going is in it's so good. Could, could you how, social media? Could you do it like the the normal way of saying it, or does it sound like it's off there? Social media. Social media. Yeah. In- <laughs> social media. I like it. Social <laughs> media. <laughs> media. Do you, so when she does a song, does she have to, is it almost like hitting the post? Does she have to, does she do that, like fit it within the song? Like, is that an edit or no? Oh, no, that's not, a, that's all. She's trying to sing that fast. I think. That's yeah, live yeah, take. That's live. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because yeah. there are certain great songs. I think Hotel California is the first or second take. Like, is, is it like. Oh, she's a one take person. Yeah. She's you a think? one take. Yeah. You think so? Yep. Huh. Yep. Definitely. Huh. Okay, good. Social media induced violence is its face. We are your children, your daughters and your sons. Give us protection. Don't shoot us with your guns. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> shoot us with anything else. That's okay. Stop real quick. Uh, if you, so you've heard this song. I have not heard this far. I don't respect. What would rhyme with respect? Effect. Yeah. Neglect. Yeah. Neglect. You've heard it, Justin? I have not. Yeah. Neglect's a good one, too. Are yeah. They? Yeah. We'll see how these guys, see if they want to get, get it right. Dave. Need to carve new pathways of respect. Respect. Divided political rhetoric is a wreck. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. She threw us off. The list of shootings grows. What I prefer James Holmes. <laughs> the data is there. Please let's use what we know. Uh oh. Big finish. Please don't leave me flowers at my grave. Sounds Hear old. my message. Let my life be the one you say. Stay out of limos with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true for sure. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good song. It's not bad. That's her best song. Like that, it actually tells a story. Lyrically, I, I think it's her best. I think it's her best. I think it's her tightest song. Like it's not, you know. I, I, you know what? I think it's gonna be a hit. Okay. Like you know how uh, "Running Up That Hill" by Kate Bush was on Stranger Things, so now it's like, yes. back in the Billboard. Like it's number I, one. Yep. Is ah. it number one? I saw it was in the top ten. I, so I, that's from '85, which is a great song. Right. Like I could see if that winds up on like an episode of Stranger Things next season. Right, or the next mass shooting. That might make the rounds. Yeah, something like yeah. that, or I don't know, like uh, Kenobi or something. Like, I, it would be... <laughs> like, it would be. I think it would be in the top five. Okay. Why not? I mean, but uh, that's an excellent song. That She's finally going to get the respect plus. she deserves. Yeah, B+. Plus. If she wants to play that, because, I mean, famously, of course, we've had somebody threaten to shoot, and, shoot up the Wilbur, right? <laughs> that's yeah. true. Yeah. So that's when true. that happens, if she comes out and then sings it, like among the, the, the deposed death spore, <laughs> then that would be fine, I think. I like imagining the next time you hear Anderson Cooper saying, and we regret to inform you that 17 children have died, and you just hear Linda Marks in the music bed underneath. Or they just have her there, like, live, <laughs> on call, on always ready. By. Yeah, you never know. Member Columbine in 1999. See, she 
she puts on that she puts the microphone out to the crowd. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> yeah, and everybody just screams it back because that's a good. That's something it would take off. I think. Yeah. I'm all, I, I, I remember Columbine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that, that was that was a long time ago. <laughs> the uh, I am fast. I would love to watch her soup to nuts. Through. She should do a documentary of her making a song. I would watch that all day. Yeah. I think it might be a little short. So you think she's a writer, engineer, producer? All of it. Yep. Yep. I think it took her about, uh, I'm going to say 15 minutes to no. write that yeah, song. That's, no, that's no, no, no. To that's write that fair. song. Why does it take her? When, did, when was the song released to the public? Uh, I think it was last week. So Tuesday. So I think it took her a week. I think the shooting happened and she sat down and thought about it. No. Prayed on it. No. Traveled, talked to people and then wrote it. How yeah. long after the, she found out about the shooting do you think she was like, I need to... Put pen to paper. I think here. she gets a calling, like people do religiously. It just happens. Oh, I think so. I, I think Meghan Markle was at the site of the shooting a couple of days after, right? I think I saw a picture of her right. there. What's so she, even yeah. you think, even as she was like scrolling through Twitter, she's kind of humming like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think everybody has something to say. Okay. You know, we come on the show and talk about that. She has her her way of her doing outlet, it. her yes. form. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I think it's a great song. All right. Yeah, Mike should apologize for disparaging. I think it's a good song. I I, I won't apologize. Heroes is going to be her. I mean, you're just. Married to it, if you're her. There's like nothing beating that. There's, yeah, I mean, the globe. I mean, Freebird. Yeah. Everyone will be yeah. yelling it. Yeah, has Holer written about this one yet or no? <laughs> he has not yet, unfortunately. I had a quote tweet. Mike, Mike's Blind Mike Project, had a, had a poll out there. Because I, I feel like every three months in some way I have to, I have to mention that Holer wrote about <laughs> somebody taking a shit out. I, I, I just feel like it's important to talk about. Can I tell you how long I looked at my phone trying to examine? I was like... Did I offend him? Not at all. I, 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 just I didn't like, understand. It just hits my head every like three months. So I'm like, I have to put on Twitter that Bob Holder wrote a story about a dog taking a shit on somebody's lawn. Oh, okay. And nobody really like the world didn't like end for some reason. <laughs> like right then it should have just ended. <laughs> it is a bizarre if you really think about it. Because there isn't a second one to put it in your perspective. Yeah. Like keep, you know, the way you phrase right, the question. Just, just keep like, you know, if you're him, keep writing about it. Because I saw, I we took the classroom for a walk the other day. There was dog shit on somebody's lawn. Yeah. Ugh. White guy's lawn, but still, somebody yeah. took a shit on it. Was there, did you notice anyone hiding in the bushes looking to see, I wonder where this motherfucker is going to live? Yeah, some, yeah, meter. I saw meter right there. <laughs> it's always, it's always there. It's obsessed with it. It's, ama- it's amazing. Uh, am- amazing. I think it's, it's the greatest. Hola wrote, in the same two year, year and a half span, wrote about Linda Marks and a dog taking a shit on somebody's lawn. <laughs> When you take Clyde for a walk, yeah, obviously you're, the dog's going to go where it's going to go. But is there an element where you think for a moment, like, are there any minorities on this street? Because I'll hang around there for a little longer. Of course, know? yeah. Of course, yeah. naturally. Well, absolutely, that makes sense. of course. Who wouldn't do that? Good. Um, that has to show the Globe's irrelevance if those two stories weren't the yeah, biggest gonna, deal in the city. Well, like, who's, other than us, who's going who's gonna to make fun of it, though? Like, nobody know. even reads it. I, I, we saw... Well, to Dave's point, and then, you know, I maybe like... It wouldn't have been written back then. That's my point. Yeah, where if it was if it was written, that would have been mocked on every show. And I think so. Well, right? I don't know about every show. I don't like you think Dale and Newby would have mocked it. Like, oh, I, but like the big show would have probably. Right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dennis yeah. and Callahan. Well, especially if Meter was still on that show. Right. Oh you know? well, yeah, right. of course. Yeah, or even, I didn't even think Jer- about that. right. If Jerry and I were still doing the show, we would have done the whole show on it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's just it's just funny. Like it's just like we called whole. It's funny. So racist. This is Linda Pizzuti's <laughs> Globe. Like she's redefined the Globe to cover stories like that. Did you see she got honored last week? What a segue. You didn't see that? Did, no, I didn't, Dave, no. People are. I have to say, Linda, every day gets up with the, the first thing that's in her mind. He gets Empties up. Empties out her. He gets up every <laughs> Snatch. On behalf of the community. When she first came on the scene and, and, and was talking about, like, how was she going Who's to this? get involved philanthropically in the that city? Was... It was really about how she was going to get involved. Yeah, yeah. They whatever. paid tribute to her. There was oh, a five-minute video on her Instagram page the other day. From Who paid honor to her? What are you uh, saying? The paid American honor? Repertory Theater. Yes, it's a big deal. Oh, good for her. Yes. Whatever. I'm yeah. sure she's a nice person. They say she's a heck of a boat captain, too. I think well, she's up for a, a nautical award as well. Look, she's in love. What are you going to do? <laughs> We're happy for her and for John. What, what else? What else is going on? Uh, do you want to hear a prank call? Like somebody called into Christian Arcan over the weekend. Oh, boy. Yes. Well, I can imagine where that's going. We'll talk about Allbirds first, a footwear company that creates shoes that are made from natural materials that's better for you and better for the planet. Lightweight, super springy, wildly comfortable. Make your long-distance running efforts feel surprisingly effortless. They provide unbelievable cushion and comfort. Minimal and versatile for effortless everyday style. Uh, the tree flyer is lighter in weight and in carbon footprint. Uh, revolutionary swift foam midsole. Super lightweight, big on cushion, energy returns. So you get a welcome spring with every step. I did it this morning out in this soupy, muggy, lousy weather on my run. Felt way better with the Allbirds. Way, way, way better. Uh, lace up the tree flyer shoe right now. Get running today at allbirds.com. That's A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S.com. 
allbirds.com, A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S.com. I use it. Uh, I see people on Twitter tell me they're, comp- they're using it and enjoying it, making their run and their walks way, way, way better. So get moving right now. Go to allbirds.com. Lace up the tree flyer today. I thought Jerry said that the Ritzer 5K was the hardest 5K he's ever done. It was the first now, time he did this yesterday. I spoke to him yesterday. He uh, said that the hills were the first. The hill, I got the play-by-play. Jerry's very proud of these finishes in the top 10. He's now 60, so he's in the 60 the 70 age range from, uh, in the race. The senior division. The senior division. So he was in the top 10, which he was very happy about yesterday. Uh, he said that the hill was bigger at the Ritzer one, but the, it's the shorter and steeper, which I could see where he is. It was Charleston, right? Uh, yes, Charlestown. Charleston, right? yep. Uh, yeah, I, could see, it's, I mean, there's a lot of short, steep hills there. Yeah, the Cullinan family was there on Saturday. Well, where? At the Charlestown. It was Bunker Hill Day yesterday, right? Uh-huh. And so we were at the festival on Saturday. How was that? It was fine. They yeah. got their face painted. Okay. For you and cream. Jerry, go different days to divvy up the fanfare? Yes. <laughs> Did you yeah. see you can go by Jerry's place, though? No? I didn't, but I think it was a little bit... I think it was kind of far from Jerry's place. I think. The Navy, he's not, like, directly in the Navy Yard. Pretty close, though. He's close, but yeah. he's not there. I mean, it can't yeah. be too far. It's a pretty small area. That's, that's true, yeah. I don't know how far of a walk it is, but, yeah. That's um, where I was. Yeah. Was your fried dough? I didn't get it, but it was there. No, I'm not yeah. a fried dough guy. Yeah. No? No. Nah. Are you? What do you have against it? Oh, nothing. I'm just... This has never done much for me. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not a big... Things like that. I, I don't know. Maybe I'd have a pretzel, maybe. I, don't know. You I wouldn't go out there? of my way for it, but if it was there, I'd gladly have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so Arcand. Oh, God. Uh, 617-779-0985 is the phone number. Let's go out to the phones and talk to Chris, who is in Chelsea, with a thought on High and Bloom. Hi, Chris. Reverend, how are you? What's up? Uh, here we go with another summer of Arcand. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on the addition to the family, uh, nothing, nothing but the best for you, man. I've been a fan for a long time. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm, totally, I'm totally agreed with you, though. I mean, this bullpen is a bunch of no names with little to no pedigree, especially in late games. I mean, Heim has got to stop, you know, treating this like it's you know budget month every month. Yeah. One name out of Minnesota, out of the Minnesota bullpen, live arm, Steve Robinson. He's a former yeah. uh, quarterback at the University of Maine, but broke his That's back. A pressing question. Uh, he made his way back and is now in the minor leagues. Yeah, this doesn't sound right. Game. Isn't Steve Robinson like, isn't Steve Robinson the producer? Of the, isn't he something? I don't know, but it's, it definitely sounded like a troll. I know that guy. I know that guy is, uh, I've, I've, he's called in before. I'm checking to see if there's even a Steve Robinson on the team. I don't think there's there not is. A Christian. No. <laughs> Christian. It's a very generic name. Yeah, I know. I know he's listened to your show. Yeah. He knows who Steve Robinson is. <laughs> oh, they were asking Arkan him. about taking it in the pooper. No, nope. that's. Yeah. I mean, I is thought that, that's what we were going to get the to. Big question. He already think, answered I, that on the show, did he not? I think he cut him off. I think he was probably going to get there. That was not a good. Call I mean, yet. you got to ask early on. But he, he goes on for another minute just debating. The, does he know Steve Robinson or not? Did he get to who it is or no? I. I think he realizes it was the former producer of the show. Ah, okay. yeah, there was a, there was a Steve Robinson, I think. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that was like a Minahan thing. You hear the way he says the name? Oh, he even like can't say the he's name. Afraid. He's afraid. He's afraid to say it. He was <laughs> fine with that when we called him that day. Yeah, he was, yeah right? he's a good guy. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I think he likes you. I think he's just afraid. Like, there's oh, some God. weird thing where you're going to get in. No, I mean, I think he's like a fan of yours. I'm sorry. He's not like a guy that doesn't like you or something. No, Arkan's a good guy. But there's a weird thing where it's like if you say, oh, that's a Kirk fan, what's the difference Who i don't cares? know radio's always been weird like they, yeah. they, they don't like, people are gone you don't say it's just strange it's the weirdest existence and it's know. the weekend like i feel like you could do whatever the fuck you want on the weekend nobody's paying attention are kids on weekends at this point of his life yeah i thought he did over yeah. jesus christ yeah that's like a new thing, though, right? Like the, I have no idea. I don't pay. I don't. I don't listen to any of it. The guys know. who are flash guys. Oh, Monday is he a flash Friday. guy? I thought he was a host at night. Oh, what's oh, Jones? Jones. Yeah, 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 he's an yeah, update yeah. guy. Yeah, and then they do their own show on the weekend, I believe. Oh God, yeah. that's depressing. Yeah. I think the bigger story here is that obviously no one's getting on that is asking Christian Arcand about the real story. Well, he, uh, he addressed it on the show. I know, but I mean, on. he got to. I mean, you know. The, the, Forgive the expression. We got to the bottom of it, I believe. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think you went a little easy on him. I think you liked the guy, and you went easy on him. Well, I, you know, I could go hard on it if you want. <laughs> However, he wants it. That's how he likes it. <laughs> well, we, I don't, we don't even know that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's you know speculation. I don't. Yeah, know. I don't know. You have, you have a kid that way. Is all I'm saying. Uh, well, that's true. Yeah, you know? it's a good point. Well, again, it's up. It's up to the callers, I suppose, <laughs> or that fascinating producer. It sounds like those two have quite a back and forth. <laughs> God, the weekend producers were the biggest dummy drips of all. Oh, just like. Absolute, just like bottom of the barrel morons. Well, they're not expecting to contribute in any way. 
They're no, but I would do solo shows and I'd talk to him. They're like, hey, and you're like, can you say? And you like, can you speak a sentence? Which is weird because you would think those guys would want to be on air. And they're very, they were nice guys to break. They come over, they talk to you. I'd be like, well, do that like on the air. Yeah. Like, I, I'm dying here. Somebody I'd, who claims they were your first weekend producer wanted to to come in on Thursdays. Who's that? I forget his name. He reached out like a week ago. I, had, I, I he may be right. I had yeah. several. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he's in the business anymore. But. I'm sure not. Yeah, yeah. I, I, most of them get uh, the smart ones get out. Yeah. True. I mean, there's, there's there's no you know I don't know what's the best like the guy who was just there with Arkham. What's the best thing that's gonna happen? What's the best that's gonna happen for him? A full time job producing at ninety eight five, which yeah. is like yeah. no money. I mean, yeah. you know that that's not a living. That's not a way of life. Well, did, I imagine like Jimmy Stewart makes money, right? Yeah, but not you know yeah yeah, but not like a tremendous living, right? I mean, Nick Felg the Felgrim like I don't know who's in charge. Of that. Oh, Rick Radzik was a nice guy. If Jimmy Stewart was like, yeah, I, you know, I want to get a lot more money, he'd be like, well, you gotta leave, like. You know, you're not actually the reason people are listening. I know you might think that, and you're a good producer, but like, the like, the show will go on. Right. You know? It's like what Steve thought. You know, Steve wanted to make more than me. Sure. Famously, and you know, we said, "Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Fuck out of here, <laughs> asshole!" Right. Beat it. Hit the bricks. Yeah, hit the bricks. Jerk off. In your van. And shove off. Yeah, who knows where he is now? I don't even know. I've been talking to him a couple. Of, Hope he's not paying attention week. to Bitcoin today because it's not looking good. Oh, it'll be oh, fine. It's, it's buying sure. season, baby. It's like yeah, platforms are like you get it at a discount. Stopping the ability to trade it today. Yeah, that's I what Robinhood did. Something like that. With oh the yeah. AMC yeah. stuff. Okay, good. I don't care. All right, what else? There's nothing I care about less. I care more about the NBA Finals. Speaking of Bitcoin. I found this segment yesterday that Ayla Brown, so Scott Brown's, I didn't even know this. She's still on the radio in morning radio in Boston. The uh, Ayla Brown. And, oh, the singer? She's yeah. on American Idol, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she does the morning radio show on the country station, WKLB. Okay. So she does this segment called Group Therapy. I wanted to get your reaction to She does a segment called what? Group Therapy with her co-host Jonathan Weir. Scott Brown is the former... Senator of Massachusetts, right? Yes, yes. Who lost to Elizabeth Warren. And then what was he right? under Trump? Yeah. He was something he under was, Trump. Uh, New Zealand? Ambassador yeah. to New Zealand? Some, one of the amba- that might be right. Yeah. Amba- yeah, he had a weird... Ambassador to New Zealand. Did he have like yeah. a weird Me Too thing or no? Am I making that up? If I am, I apologize. Oh, I, don't know. I feel like there's some Ambassador story Brown. with him. Yeah, I feel like... But it was like odd. It didn't really... Like... And what's he doing now? Nothing odd about a fake Me Too story. You know what I'm saying? That's saying? true. Yeah. Probably just traveling around playing music, right? That was his thing. He was, it was? Like, yeah, he was. That's, he's probably on some board making money to do nothing. Just sit there with a big empty head. He's like, a, he's, I'm surprised Trump didn't make, like, he's a good looking guy. He's kind of a dummy. He's been perfect in Trump's cabinet. Like, <laughs> yep. you know. Yep. So Ayla Brown is doing what? She is on the air with Jonathan. We are doing this segment called Group Therapy. All right. Okay. What station is this? This is WKLB. KLB. Oh. Group therapy. Oh, I have problems. Help me. Help me. Help you. Producers, Country Scott, 125, Jonathan Weir, and oh, oh, sorry, Ayla Brown. Jonathan, one second, John. Oh, sorry. Producers love putting together openings like that. That makes them feel and so And they useful. love like the same clip. Like, is that a Jerry Maguire clip? It's only 25 <laughs> years old. That's not bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that could be a prep service, putting that together for them as well. I think that's I a national say. bit. I think so. Okay. I think we're going to... I doubt it. I think there's more creativity than that. Yeah. I'm going to disagree with you. I think Jonathan and Ayla are going to put together something better. Go ahead. I heard country one is like Seinfeld drops. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, that's more recent than Jerry Maguire. That ended in 98. <laughs> yes. Still on, kind of. Go ahead. Two five, Jonathan Weir and Ayla Brown doing group therapy, and which we do every day. Hold this I like that. I like that. And <laughs> I don't do enough of that. And Ayla Brown and doing group therapy. And Mike Geary. <laughs> Hello. He sounds like he doesn't like her that much. That's what I would do if it was like... What do you think? Mike and Mike Geary. What's your name again? Yeah, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Country 1025, Jonathan Weir and Ayla Brown. Hold on, Brown hold group. on, hold on. So if you're listening to the station, you like the station, but you might forget the number of this, like the, the, the you know, 1033, 985. John Lee gives it you right away. Good. Right. Okay. Country 1025, Jonathan Weir Thank and... Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate that. <laughs> That, the program director sitting in his office, check. Attaboy. Good producer sound there, check. Name co-host, check. Segment, check. You'll Go be ahead. amazed at how quickly people call in, too. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Ayla Brown doing group therapy, which we do every day at this time. Uh, right now on the line, we got Marissa. Hey, Marissa. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> so, Marissa, you are, um, you have a very complicated situation. Um, you're you're not wanting to spend a lot of time with a man, I guess. I'm actually I'm that's, trying to make this uh, that's actually that's actually uh, that's actually wrong, Jonathan. I'm actually inside my office right now. And there's an active shooter, and I really I don't need know where help. You got your information? Uh, yeah, I'll type for that right now. One, two, five. Anyway, so what's going on in your love life? Well, we've got just the song to play for you. If there's an active shooter, 
<laughs> Go ahead. Well, I, guess. I just want to say one thing Trent, first. That uh, keep in mind, A, he did a very natural setup where he says bad. what's happening and then says, I don't want to spoil it, even though he just said it. But also keep in mind that he did just set up what they're about to talk about. He's a pro. Take some lessons, I'm, Mike. I'm trying to make this vague and tease it, but y- you have a, a problem that I don't think I've ever encountered somebody having before. What, what's going on? Okay, so my work is going forming like a trip um, for all of the employees. It's like a retreat, you know, like a sort of like a what do you call it, team building type thing. Sure. Okay. The saddest part um, is and- when the, the saddest part is when the caller like doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Like that like <laughs> we've dealt with this. Be- I, so we have, I don't think we've really done this during the calling era, like the preps, no. the prep burger. Is that what it is? Uh, oh, the, all the different services. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever do use that? Um, yeah. That seems like something not, you not, would do. Not like these segments, but right. we use it for stories. Right. Like so what is so for this? This woman, this woman is also an actress, Marissa. Has so he be. asked me. He was like, calling in was like, do you think she was hired? And I think with a station like this, it might be more like a salesperson or something. Could be, unless it's like on seven stations or something. That, so I don't think this is. That's why I said okay, that, but I'm right. not sure. Oh, like definitely. Because could, could could def- salespeople want to be on the air. So right. definitely possible. Definitely possible. So <clears throat> we're all going. Like, it's a mandatory thing. Um, but work is paying for, like, the hotel rooms and, like, the travel expenses and stuff like that. So we are all having to stay in the same hotel, and they're assigning us hotel rooms mm-hmm. um, for this uh, particular trip. So basically... <laughs> I, my group, like my little group is me and then three of my coworkers, but they're all male. So yeah. like I'm the only female. Sure. Okay. So, which is like not a problem. It's really not a big deal. You know, my job in itself is kind of like a male oriented field. Sure. So I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about that. Um, the issue though, is that because of the way it got split up. Hold on. This guy does not say three inputs, right? I mean that that would be. <laughs> that, is that? What, I feel like you get you get in trouble if you said that. No. Well, lucky for you, ma'am, you've got three holes. Yeah, I don't. So. I, don't I don't. That feels like he might lose. So it. Does he lose wrong? his job? Is that what happens? Is that what Ayla Brown says? She's edgy. I like this. Uh-huh. Get her on. Well, there's just as much shock and intrigue in what in what she does. I mean, say. like you know, if I was on the air for this, is why I last two seconds. I mean, can you get to the fucking point, Marissa? <laughs> Well, they're going to kill time. You know, they're happy. <laughs> Just play uh, uh, Brad Paisley. Is that his name? Yeah. Play all those stupid songs. Like, what, what are you fucking doing? Go ahead. Split up. I have to spend uh, the night, like, in my hotel room. I have to share my hotel room with my coworker who is a guy. Of course. Oh, uh, and of course, weird. Oh, of course you don't. Like, this is all, like, what are we fucking doing here? No, no, she does. <laughs> At, most companies now force you to sleep <laughs> I mean, in bed with a man. Like, I'm all for, we all know it's pretend, we, but, like, can you, give me at least, like, when I'm watching, it's like watching porn. At least give me something realistic I can make work here. Yeah. I will say, though, Intercom made me share, a, I had to share a bed with a male coworker at Intercom. Yeah, you're both guys. Yeah. You understand the share difference? Share a bed. Who, who, who was that? <laughs> Some kid, Jared, from the street team. <laughs> Where was this? <laughs> it was the night, though, the worst, at the time, the worst day of my life. I've had many worse since. But, <laughs> so, it was a snowstorm. We had to drive bed. to Fox, We had to drive to Foxwoods. <laughs> okay. And, uh. You stay at the casino? At that night, yeah. yeah. And so that night, like, you know, 8.30, whatever that night, um, Ken Laird texts me and says, hey, uh, Tangway. Or oh, Jer- yeah, you said this. Jerry, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone couldn't get in tomorrow. Do you want to come in and do an hour with Kirk? And I said, Ken, I can't. I'm in Connecticut and I have no way back. And then I turned over and got in bed with, <laughs> with my man, Jared. How do you do that? Like, what do you, do you say goodnight to each other? Or? I was livid. Like, do you... Like, do you go to sleep at the same... Well, he spooned me to sleep. No, seriously. And then he went to bed. Like, how would you do that? I don't even know. Me and Mike shared rooms before. Not bad, right? Uh, no, no. And you guys know each other. I mean, I don't I knew, I knew this. This kid produced my podcast at the time also. So I knew him a little bit. That's got to be weird. It was pretty weird. Jesus. All right, yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, Why? that's weird. What? Wait, okay. Yeah. So, ooh. That what? That's a good they, what? They knew what happened. <laughs> He set up, he goes, hey, you have a situation. We heard about it off air. Tell us about it. And then when she tells him about it, they're like, what? What's well, that shocking? 
Like, Even the second time. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's more shocking the second time. Okay. I was stunned. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish my voice was like that. Ooh, ooh. Hi. Oh, what? that's weird. What? That is good bass. Yeah. So, so you you think some bass going on there? <laughs> I like it. I mean, natural bass, of course. Guy sounds like Chris Clemmer, probably off the air. <laughs> Got no problem setting this, or whoever is in charge of this, setting up where you would be sleeping in the same room as a man? Yeah. Well, I mean, not only did he not have a problem with it, but he kind of pushed back on me. Like, I'm, I was uncomfortable from the start, and I thought, well, I need to go talk to him about it. So, like, I went, you know, to approach him about it, and he just completely stood his ground, you know, and he said, well, it's, you know, it's fine. It's not a big deal because he's gay, you know, like. Oh, like, well, you know, that's, yeah, and that well, certainly well, won't well, cause well, an well. HR <laughs> issue. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Hey, he's a queer. Why, you, <laughs> why did anybody tell me that? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> He's gay? <laughs> the guy just eats cock day yeah. and night. He's what are you gonna, so worried about? <laughs> I mean, you're not going to wear clothes to bed, are you? He doesn't care. <laughs> I'd be like, can you tell me the name of the company? I'm very interested in this. You can make a lot of money suing these people. <laughs> Sweetheart, unless you're packing something I don't know about, <laughs> if you're in fine shape. Jesus. Right, Fine, right. it's not a big deal because he's gay. You know, like, uh, my coworkers. What? Yeah, my coworkers gay. You know, a call name is like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. He's no. so worried about that. Yeah, Jesus. Also, so, he um, justifies my God. making me say, say the Brown, by the way, oh my is dynamite. God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I cannot believe. It's like Don Imus. What is she doing back there? Also, <laughs> so, he um, justifies my God. making me stay in the same room oh, because he doesn't too. like females. <laughs> so, wait. So, your boss's reasoning for putting you in the same room as another man uh, sorry, as a man, um, is because he's gay, so he's not a threat to you. Not, not that it would be a problem. It, 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 so, I'm, I guess my question I is: this would guy, you be, I like this guy like, is trying to stay out of trouble doing this pretend thing. <laughs> this is prepared. Yeah, work. I mean, <laughs> don't you have this like <laughs> this guy is going to say one of the most outlandish things. Really? Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Mike, do you agree with that? <laughs> Me and Conan thought of the same line separately. Listening to this, go ahead. I have a problem uh, with any man being in that room. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he was gay, straight. Uh, if he, you know, I, I don't know, had uh, suffered some horrible injury in a war <laughs> and was no longer reproductive. Uh, Wait, you, you Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, ma'am, obviously your concern is that he's going to procreate with you. <laughs> Look, you're very lucky, okay? I understand he's a man and you're concerned. But he fought in the Iraq War and had his fucking balls blown off. <laughs> no, not even that. Because he doesn't say he's castrated or anything. He says oh, like his, physical. his sperm no longer yes, works. Right. <laughs> Agent Orange, he, he, he will not, he can't reproduce. You're fine. Sweetheart, if he slips inside you, he's not he... potent. What's the difference? <laughs> You're not going to get pregnant. Who is this guy? What's his name? <laughs> Jonathan Weir. Jonathan Weir, okay. He, you know, I, I don't know, had uh, suffered some horrible injury in a war and was no longer reproductive. Uh, you would, you wouldn't, wouldn't want to be in there with any man, right? That's the truth. I mean, I yeah. there isn't any man that I would really like to stay in the room with, you know, especially, it doesn't matter that he's gay. My boss, like... Even like kind of called me homophobic because oh I. Oh my god! Really Ayla, you, two, you two gals love a great time. Together. Ayla Brown is shocked. At this. <laughs> oh, you'll gossip. Oh my god! <laughs> you'll gossip together. You'll have a. You'll put on a fashion show for him. It'll be great. Like fun, honestly. I don't know. Is there any more for this or no? It's a longer segment. We don't have to play okay, that. Yeah, yeah. so they don't have the guy come on, though. Thank God. They have the gay guy call. Oh, they no. Oh, they that'd be not. great. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, they did not. Uh, all right. What know. else? They must have to, like, it has to be hired caller. I don't. Th I think they're big enough to not be, like, the salesperson. You could be right. I don't know yeah. much about that station. WKLB is a popular station. I guess, but like, yeah. that person, sound, I don't know. Like, that's a, what do they, they pay that person? And again, we've, talk, we've talked about this in the past. Like, does this person call like twenty state? Like, this is oh, their job? Yeah. Someone, yeah. someone just tagged me in a tweet over the weekend where so, there was some post out there like, "What's the most ridiculous job you ever had?" And someone said, "I was paid like fifty dollars a call to call into ten million radio stations." Why can't we get these? Why can't we get the prep burger world? I don't know. I've, I've reached like out that. in the past about those. They won't do it for podcasts, really. I'd they like should. to work for them. I would just Me make too. calls yeah. all day. They should get into that world. There's a lot of money there. Yeah. I, I would do that. I would have a seg I would love to have a sponsored segment like that. Gladly. Yeah. Is that sponsored or no? Oh, it must be sponsored. They, they do it anything. every single day. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I didn't hear it either, but it, they do it every day. And they don't take calls at that station. Uh, not well, you heard them. They, of course they do. 
Well, I mean, I'm saying I, I didn't hear the, the number. That person just randomly found the <laughs> yes. found their way in. Yeah, yeah. Because I would like to find like, get an update on that. Like, what's going on? Are they sued? Is that like is Marissa? She could yeah. really make a lot of money there. Yeah. Well, they bonded over the boss had a plan where she tried on a few different work outfits, and the first few the gay guy was like, mm-hmm. "Nope, not seeing that." And then he was like, "Just right." <laughs> This segment goes on for uh, eight more minutes. Oh, my Jesus God. Yeah. I hate to sound like a Scott Brown star, but oh, my God. <laughs> it does? What? Jesus, I'm horrified at that. <laughs> so they just, so they're literally, out, so what, a segment is what, 14 minutes or something? Oh, yeah. Group therapy every day, 15, 15 What time is that? Is that, is that the ratings winner, you think? Uh, it's got to be. 8.30 every morning. Yeah. That's a big spot. Yep. yep. Jeez. Yeah. Man. Find out who's being harassed this morning. No kidding. God. I asked these guys before the show. Somebody uh-huh. tagged us in a song about Jerry Callahan. Did you play that on the show in the past? It's from like 2013. Do you remember this? I have not, 2013. I don't. I, we, me and Justin couldn't remember if we ever talked about it on the show. I don't but know. there's a guy You've, that you some people thought before. was Steve's a liar guy. What's that? But Justin, of what? You've hinted at him before. I have. Yes, I believe so. In, in what way? What are you talking about? Uh, when talking about like the identity of Steve's a liar guy, people you people would be like, "Oh, it's this guy. He made songs about you in the past," and you were like, "It's not him." This oh, guy, I don't. Know. This guy has eighty songs on Spotify about basically Boston sports media personalities and athletes. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. A song about you. As oh, well. yeah. all right. We'll talk about let's talk about game time first. Uh, uh, ticketing app, big week for this. Whether you look at uh, U.S. Open around here, or anyway, NBA Finals. I know we've listened in California. I know the prices are insane right now. So go to the Game Time app. The exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. I saw guys from the company tweeting at these events they've gone to, whether it's Mets games or the finals or whatever. Uh, Game Time has cracked the code and how to score deals on last minute tickets. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Again, uh, baseball games, lots of concerts this summer all over the place. Takes two taps and 10 seconds to purchase process. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone, no printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text. So you can get in the games seamlessly, skip the hassle, and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app, go to the account tab to create a login, and redeem code Minahan, M I N I H A N E, for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time, last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Uh, again, uh, ga- download the Game Time app, go to the account tab to create a login, and use my name, M I N I H A N E, for the code for $20 off your first purchase. Go ahead. I guess, I mean, I, I don't know. You don't remember this at all? I, 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 I might, I, I, uh, maybe we've talked, I don't know, I get to hear it. Oh, oh, Kirk Minahan, you are the man, you've got the plan. To I'm good, I'm all set. <laughs> he has you, he has Jerry Thornton, man of the people, Jerry Callahan, genius right-wing sports guy, yep. Gary Tangway ought to be doing Pat's but like he's got that doesn't PD. sound like the I mean no. I see how people could think For of it. For a brief second, a big, yeah, but that's it not, does, that's, but. I don't think that's him. No. He even wrote one about Mutt. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What else? I, you mentioned a Anything second else ago. in 2013 you got there? Oh, I'm just wondering if you. I, if somebody tagged us in it. I didn't know if I you don't care. Heard yeah. I don't care about yeah. it. What's up, Mike? You mentioned a second ago uh, Barstool personalities in their tweets. Yes. And I was alerted to one. Uh oh. <laughs> from a great personality who I find hilarious. But I. I couldn't believe the tweet that Dave read me. Uh, <laughs> was you, who is it? You, <laughs> so do Mr. a leap. Stuart Finer. <laughs> do a leap. Oh, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I have no interest in him, truthfully. But go ahead. So, he bores me. Oh, so, oh okay. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I, I don't know. He doesn't. He, I feel like he's a one. I don't know. I, I don't get. I don't get the joke. I found this interesting. Go ahead. I, I didn't see it. So some video of Dua Lipa dancing. Very. You know. I saw. Oh, I saw that. Okay. Or so I didn't look at. It, but I saw it was on Twitter. And yeah. he replies to it. I would fuck her under any circumstance, <laughs> regardless of consequences. And she Show her what she's been missing. Oh, good. I mean, that's she's, it's a statement. <laughs> no matter the consequence, he'd go to jail for it. I don't think he's saying. I don't think he's saying he's doing anything illegal. I'm sure he's not. But as he's I saying, s- like, if, if his dick fell off after or something, I think that's what he means, right? Right. But I, I just, I just found it funny. We put this that you would That's the that truth. <laughs> I respect it. That's his yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't. Like, yeah, no matter what happens. Yeah, he doesn't. I, I, I'm sure I'm missing the joke on him, but he doesn't really do much for the me. The joke is that he's just like hyper sexualized. <laughs> right. Everything is sexual. Yeah, I feel yeah. like but I feel like I've been briefed on that one. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. That's funny. I haven't seen much from him. That's that, funny. That, that made yeah. me laugh. That is funny. <laughs> yeah. What else? Who is that uh, guy you quote tweeted him on Friday? Rich Hill. I've never even heard of that guy before. Me either. Man. It's just this whole. No, no, no. He's like a Patriot blogger or something. I just oh, saw oh. where he's like the fucking. 
like after this January 6th thing, he's like, just remember the Patriots drafted someone. Oh, I saw like, that. And then yeah. they, they fucking cut the guy? Yes. And like, didn't, they, didn't the guy get the tattoo removed? Yep. Yeah. Got to Kind of like, what do you, like, what do you want? Uh, it's just like, you're just and waving also, I think, your arms. You I think pussy. he said he got it for a different reason or didn't know what exactly what that group was when he got it or something How like that. How about this? Maybe he likes Trump. Like, right. Then what? Right. Like, yeah. you go to Jack, yeah, you just, you fucking pussy ass, boring fucking baby. Shut up. It's important to remember. I mean, like I said, the global hire eventually stinks, just like the rest of them, like Volan and the rest of these guys. I saw Volan liked it, right, Dave? You had he that? did like it, yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's I mean, another pussy. Yeah. Who blocked me? I have no idea why. Doesn't like your uh, commentary. I guess not. I, I, who knows? I don't even know. I listen to a podcast. You know who else likes Trump, I think, is uh, Stephen A. Smith. Did you? I'm sure he probably does. Uh, he had uh, he was on some podcast this week, and he seems like he's more conservative than I ever would have guessed. He had some, he had some interesting takes. Oh, he's rich. You could say what you want about Donald Trump. He had charisma. There's no doubt about that. The thing that conservatives have a hard time coming at me about is when I come at him, it was never because of his politics. Because I see the world. We have to, the, the, the prism of history tells us the effectiveness of a president or lack thereof. You can't tell us in the moment. History tells I'm, us that. I'm already bored. Yeah, he ends up saying that Trump would still be president if he just fucking said wear a mask. I, I, I actually agree with him. You agree with I, that? I, well, I don't know, but, but I, Trump, to me, I said this, Trump botched the, the, his public handling of COVID. He first mocked it, then he said wear a mask, then he mocked it again, then he got it, and he said take it seriously, then he didn't. And by the way, he's like the guy, he could have fired Fauci. Yeah. He fucking, he, you know, he kept saying like, he, let, he let Fauci just run wild. So I, Trump completely botched the handling of it. Whatever you think of Trump, whatever you think of Biden, I think Trump was a better president than Biden. But, you know, like Trump completely, completely botched his handling of, of COVID-19. Completely. I think I read that he's going to announce his uh, candidacy in Florida for 2024. So Stephen, on the show or uh, Trump? No, I would love for him to do okay. it. When's he gone? The is still there. So. When is he on? Uh, he's not booked yet. Okay. He's not. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can't book a single guest. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just did two back to back. Yeah, one of them. I had COVID during the first one. That was like three months ago. Oh, it was easy. I booked them. Yeah. Okay, but you haven't booked anybody. You can't book a guest. You can't you book a guest you to just, save you just, your life. You literally just did a two-hour podcast yesterday of two back to back guests that I booked on Sunday. I did it yesterday or Friday. We Friday. It's it not Friday. yesterday. Yeah. Okay, and those yeah. interviews were months ago. Oh sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so give me more names. Yeah. I've given you fifty names. You can't book a guest. Very weird names. Very weird names. You can't book fucking. You can't book James. Is that house? Well, I mean, he's got home you renovations book, that you he's know. going through. He's got construction <laughs> going on. What do you want, what do you want him guy. to do? You want him to take a break from construction? You can't book Fred Couples. That drip. Oh, that underachiever. That's... Only one major with all that talent. Yeah. I... Maybe I've, I, I think I go hard on Fred, Mike, to get him on. I gotta get a oh, you think play it. hard to get? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta go heal. I thought this guy liked me. What's yeah. happening? Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Hey. Do you try to book guests or no, do you think it's kind of part, part of the bit? Doesn't even try. Doesn't about? even try. Why would you ever think I don't <laughs> like, try? I'm asking. Mike's asking a question that I'm asking and every listener thinks of. Well, Dave's obviously not even trying. It is absurd to think I'm not trying to get a fucking Steve well, Gutenberg. Why is it absurd? Else. They don't come on. Like, that's a reasonable question. These are like randomly difficult people to get. I don't know Boy, why. Boy, it's weird that every single one of them are <laughs> randomly difficult to get. What are you talking about? We just that's had That's what two I'm talking guests. about. We just had two people who wrote books who came on. Right. right, that's not randomly what? difficult. That's easy. They're plugging something. Correct. Yes. Sure. 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 But these other ones are difficult to get, unfortunately, because they're not requested too often. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. Donald Trump is not requested often. Well, Donald Trump's different. He's a. I mean, I'm with his. I have. You're the his one who guy. said he's an 80 percent chance to come it's, on. He's coming on this show. I don't okay. even. It's not even a question. Mate. Okay. Yeah. Why isn't it is a question? Nobody thinks it's going to happen. <laughs> well, it's going to happen. Do you think it's going to happen, Mike? Why, honestly, why do I honestly, care? Mike, do you think Donald Trump's going to be on the show? It depends on how long you do the show. But yeah, eventually. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, eventually. Justin, do you think Donald Trump's going to be on the show? Yes. Okay. I do not. Thank so you. there you go. Thank you. Okay. It'd be great if we found out that like uh, Donald Trump, Fred Couples, uh, fucking Jason Priestley, all of the same publicist, and that's right. It could be it. <laughs> like, Dave, stop messaging me. Yeah, Jason Priestley, same thing. Max Weinberg. But they, 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 they didn't reach out to him. Uh, not th so Trump's guy said, not this week. I'm with him in person next week, and we'll revisit. Mm. So there we go. Mm. Are you mm -hmm. sure this is Trump's guy, though? Yes. That doesn't sound like a, I'm with him next week. Donald? I've been talking to Dave Cullen. Well, he's not the president anymore. He's not like with him all the time. But who is this? Just like his assistant? Uh, it's his head. I think I forget his exact title, but some kind of communication thing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yep. It's sure. Kellyanne Conway. Yes, yeah. I'm sure it's somebody for sure. No question. Wait, what, do you think it's just a fake person? Yes. Yeah. No, not a fake person. I think somebody's probably just, you know, fucking with you. I guess. It's not true. Okay. How do you know that? Because I just know I know the person. He's in headlines all the time, and that's that. Okay. Yeah. In headlines all the time. 
Yeah, defending Trump. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. TJ Hubbard at yes. gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Idiot. What yes. else? Uh, do you want to highlight episode three of Rome at all or not? I guess. I'm already, I've already checked out. Uh, yeah. I have some thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just talk about the end of Rome? It was tough. I, but, to but let's be very clear. I haven't. Don't, don't I, jump I, I, I didn't listen to a second of it. Like, I'm, oh, you haven't listened? To no, it. I'm done. I've already checked. The only out. thing that was intriguing was his tease at the end of this phone call, and then he appears to play the phone call. I after. disagree. I thought there was a lot more intriguing. Do you listen to the whole thing? Oh yeah. Jesus. It's Long tough. shower today. Oh, but the goodness. next part gets weird. I have the craziest phone call with their sales manager that I've ever had before. We'll talk about it next week on Rome. Then, one second. Yes. Oh, hold what on. sales manager? <laughs> and you know how oh. a few seconds ago we asked, like, is that a is that a real call that called into the country right. station? Yes. Yeah. I, I have the same question about about this phone call. Well, who, who's he who's he supposed to be talking to? The sales manager of what Camping From World? Camping oh, World for yeah. his RV or whatever. Yes. yes. Okay. He's gone into excruciating detail oh. about buying this RV. Jesus. The following is a real live phone call between Matt and James of Camping World. The voices have been changed to protect the innocent. This is James. Hey, James, this is Matt Carano. I'm uh, under contract on a Thor outlaw, and I'm trying to get my inspector out there to check it out before the walkthrough on Friday. Uh, and he said that uh, that you thought it might not be ready on Thursday. Is is that right? No, you should have him come out. We'll have it ready for you. Hold oh, on. I'm great. disgusted by this. I hate people who think they're funny when they're not. What do you mean? Does Carano, like, laugh when he does this, do you think? Or You're no? saying the salesman thinks he's funny? Like, <laughs> yes, fucking yeah. with Carano? Like, do you think he's laughing honestly when he does this? Yes. No. <laughs> Do you think he is? Like he's listening to it laughing yes. like, oh, I nailed this. I don't know what the intention is because it's not like a wacky prank call type thing. Like that's like Carano should be like producing like a shitty morning radio show. <laughs> he should be. Yes. Like that, like, he can do that in two seconds. Yes, easily. Like that show we just heard before. That's what that is. Right. And he's like creative. Like that could have been actually his spot in life. Yeah. As a young Todd Pettengill. Yeah. Yeah. Pettengill was on here, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, Karamo could, like, produce. Oh, but he did these calls, I'm saying. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's right. God, those awful calls. I thought they were great. Oh, God. Go ahead. Well, he said something about you not being able to get water into it, but it's all set. Like I told him, service is really busy, so we may not have it hooked up to water and sewer. Well, um... Is that him? So he's changing the voice of the guy, or is that him doing a voice? I think it's him. I think it's him doing a voice, right? I think. Yeah. It's him doing a voice. Oh yeah. my God, that's so sad. <laughs> well, it wouldn't make sense for me to have him come out there if there's no water. He says he needs it in order to check the pumps. Is there a better day to do it? Like, we can be flexible. No, nope, no, nope, Thursday's fine. We'll have it available for him to get it then. Wait, I'm confused. Will there be water in it? As I said, I can't guarantee it. Well, then I'm not going to send him out there. I mean, we're spending $1,000 <laughs> on the inspection. Even his prank it, calls it just... are endless. <laughs> but here's my thing. It's not a prank call. It's like a, a, a kind of funny, like... America's most wanted type reenactment of right. this phone call. But we like, don't know why either. It's just like inserted at the end of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, we don't. No there's reason. no. But even that is like fucking endless, though. <laughs> like even that is just this endless. Oh, bullshit. If you think if you think this is endless, listen to the process. I can't. I can't. Of looking, I, I have it. been. I've checked out a bit. I gotta be honest. Put Go it ahead, this though. way: I've been in several RVs and mobile homes in my life. That's true. And I've also had a lot of times where I don't know what to talk about on air. There's archive. Go to blindmike.net. Oh, there's sure. archives. Yes, go, yeah. of, go, go there right now, please. There's go archives subscribe. of evidence that proves I need shit to talk about on air. And I've never thought, let me describe every square inch, inch oh, by inch, God, of I, the I mobile I can, homes I don't think I, I can do it. I don't, I, can, I don't think I can hang in anymore with that. Jesus. I don't understand the market for a podcast like this. There is very interesting. You, don't you, you don't understand. There isn't one. Yeah. I think so. We have uh, inside knowledge. Apparently, Chris said he recorded these all beforehand, right? Like, all oh, that's right. It's like three or four. Or something? He said, "Yeah, three. So I thought for a second before I remembered that, like, if he heard us break down episode one, then episode three is a masterpiece because he doubles down and says, "You think that's a lot of detail to go through?" Oh. <laughs> I mean, is there like a RV? crowd that wants to hear that that's a category on, on uh, apple Podcasts, i believe about his process just like people are in the rvs i don't know no i think there's like car a, people I, I don't i don't i don't i don't know there's a market for people who want to watch a two minute youtube video about an rv so right. they can yeah decide like what a summary buy, not a 60 right. minute process Breaks so like out. i yeah. never paid attention to matt even when he was in here like i never talked to him. like is he like this when you talk to him off the air, like, is he this endless in detail and conversation? Not that I've noticed. I've only talked to him once, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I gone know. through a story with him where he would break it down like this. I right. Don't think. I don't, I and don't so know. I just kind of caught some fine print there. And when I told, when I was like, hey, I already said no to this. He got aggravated when I told him to take it off. He's like, what? You know, 
what, what you don't want to protect your car? And I'm like, are you sticking it in there without telling me you fucking rapist? Like I was, I was, I was angry about it. Jesus Lord. Christ. <laughs> God, fucking rapist. He's by himself. It's so weird. It's so weird. So like, is he, so we have no idea if he's even left yet. He has, right? Oh, he has. I thought Chris I thought, said he hadn't when we, when he was Well, in so in the last episode, he said, by the time you're hearing this, I'll be gone. Oh, okay. And he tweeted yeah. out that he's gone. Yeah. And that there's like three or four episodes in the can. Yeah. Oh, he, still? Uh, no, this was, a, oh, this was, this oh, was yeah. after oh, the first episode. Okay, okay, so okay, okay. so he, he's also added something. This is why I find it odd that they were recorded at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because he's added a new element of that was not there before of like sound drops. Oh, jeez. That don't <laughs> quite make It sense. also has this ladder that hooks into the middle. So you can't, you can't like boost yourself up there. You have to, it's maybe five feet off the, feet the floor of the RV. Covered. So you have to kind of climb. What was that? Can you hear I, like I don't know. Drop <laughs> underneath? Five feet off the, feet the floor of the RV. Covered. So you have to. What is that? He's like adding it under while he's talking. What is and nobody hear it again? Five four feet off the, feet the floor of the RV. Covered. So you have to. So you can't isolate that, obviously. It sounds like four feet. Yeah, it's five like four feet off the, feet the floor of the covered. RV. So you have to. He's talking over it, so you can't understand. And he does that like seven times. You can't like isolate that, obviously. If it's within his podcast. No, not the drum no, itself. Right. No. no. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's so weird. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> God. What else? Uh, nothing too exciting. You see Jake Paul going at Biden for gas prices and inflation over the weekend? I did not. Yeah. There's nothing People, I care about. They were all up in arms about that. Nothing I care about less than the Paul, so, you know, nothing. Nothing. But conservatives love when like trendy influencers help them out in all their arguments. It's true, right? Yeah, they were all up in our gas prices are up all over the world, right? I paid under five dollars over the weekend, though. No, it's great. Yeah. I mean, they're they are sky high all over the world. Yes, I've seen. They are. Yes. So was that? I was at Biden's fault. Uh, just a is. don't ask me. I'm just curious. I mean, yeah. they, you, people might be right. I'm yeah. just curious. Why is that? Isn't he going to Saudi Arabia to try to? He is? I believe To play so. in the tour? <laughs> <laughs> he's caddy. <Sorry>. <laughs> That's the other thing. These caddies get. I read somewhere where the cabbies are getting 10% of the players' winnings, uh, it, it, but the Saudi people, the, the Saudis guys are paying the caddies, like not even within the players' winnings. So this is so not a sports will want five five point four million, I think, right? Yep. Or and this is not this is just for their right. entertainment. It's not a money making endeavor. No, obviously, because they're spending no. so much money. It's not on TV. It's that's so. There's crazy. no advertising for it. No, it's it's sports washing. They it's, did. I think they just announced. Uh, what's that app that? It's boxing all the time, typically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 something yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, they're making no money. No, this is not. This is a money loser. They don't right, care yeah. about that. Yeah. But there's, but they call sports washing, right? Like the WWE has done it. They've done it. Yeah. You know, they'll do, they've done it with other golf events. No, no. They're paying insane, insane money. I just saw it's not going to happen. But there's a bonus if a player shoots a 54, <laughs> which means he'd make a birdie on every hole of, say, a par uh, of 72. He would get fifty-four million dollars. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> the caddies, the, uh, the caddy, of caddy, who won the first event, uh, between what Schwartzel pays him and what he got for bonus, might have made like six or seven hundred thousand dollars for caddying three days in an event that nobody watched. That's wild. I'm gonna study like, up on my how, club use. I don't know how the PGA Tour even competes with. It. I have no idea. There were, I think, on YouTube on Friday. I checked it out. Like hundred thousand, hundred thousand at yeah. one point. How's that gonna look bad. like the eighth event? Yeah. yeah, I just don't like. I don't think anybody's. What happens like two years from now when the Saudis are like, yeah, we've had enough fun with this toy. Like, how do you think Dustin Johnson is going to do? Is he going to like, sue the Saudi government? Right. I'm like, well, how's that going to work? Yeah. Like, okay, get the fuck out of here. We'll, we'll cut your head off. Like, there's no... And then, like, how does that end? Like, does he come back to the tour? It's tail between the his tour looks. tell him to fuck off? Like, I, I, who knows? I don't know. Yeah. I think if the tour is thinking their best interest, they're going to take on the best golfers. So he'll be able to come back. The price is open for a year or something or yeah. six months and then yeah. bring him back. I guess. I don't know. What were you saying before that? Saying something else, another story or no? Uh, no, the only thing I was going to ask you, did you pay attention at all to this like story of the Google engineer who was suspended? Did you read into that at oh, all? Oh, I saw it, yeah. What was he, it was the, like, uh, he was talking to the AI, like I don't know if it was a robot or a yeah. machine, and he, he learned that the AI had emotions, basically. Right. It's really creepy. But people were like freaking out about it, which it is weird, but I was like, I don't really understand why it's like a big story in the world. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care. The robots are going to take people. over. Yeah, I don't know. You could tell them. I'm but like not, they, yeah. they <laughs> wrote the code, right? So like if it's weird that it has emotions, like they did it. They can, un they can undo it. They always don't have emotions. They do. No, but like they wrote the code right. for whatever is talking the robots back to have them. Robots learned that out smartly. Right. Don't you yeah. understand? They're yes. taking over. Yeah. Why are we afraid of this? Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It always freaks me out when I think of something and then I see it comes up on like my YouTube or something. 
Yeah. Yes. Like I'll think of a movie and there'll be a scene from it. Like that can't be. And you I, won't I, have I, I, said I, I, anything or texted no, anything. But or... I must be overthinking that. That can't be. That can't be true. Well, if you go into your. So do you have any Amazon products in your home? Sure. Yeah. If you have like an Amazon controlled device, you uh-huh. can go in the back end of Amazon and wanna, see yeah. a transcript of everything you've basically ever said. Oh, is that true? Yes. Have you done this? Uh, I know it exists, yes. But what a transcript that would be in the Conan house. <laughs> I think they also say that's why the remote, remote controls have the voice recognition too, because they're listening to you and they sell that data. Right. Uh, oh, I'm sure. I have yeah. no doubt. Yeah. I have no doubt. Like, I, I forget what it was, but I saw I was like, I just was thinking of this. I yeah. don't even understand it. That is weird. not make any sense. Terrifying. I don't know. You go blindmike.net. That makes sense. That is not terrifying. Yes. Oh, my God. What's going on here this week is unbelievable, folks. They are taking a poll to see some celebrities who have done stand-up. No, no, no. It wasn't a poll, you jackass. Whatever. Oh, oh, please correct me, Mike. Go ahead. Please. Set the record straight. We're doing an episode. I have a guest on this week that wanted to do Brendan Schaub, and I've talked enough about Brendan Schaub. Uh So we might, we'll do a little bit of that, but I just want, I figured celebrities that have attempted stand-up would be a good episode. Gotcha. Okay. Who's come up so far? Um, Rob Schneider, T.I. Rob Schneider kind of is, was a stand-up yeah, originally, I would say he's but his special is so bad that right, it's worth right, acknowledging. T.I., right. I didn't realize how bad T.I. was. Yeah. Um, some that I couldn't find any, if you can find clips of him, let me know. Stormy Daniels, I looked for, couldn't find it. Oh, John really? John Mayer, yeah. I couldn't really find stuff. Oh, jeez. So let me know those. But there, yeah, there are a few good ones. Okay, what else is going on there? Uh, should be a live stream tomorrow. Okay. And uh, oh, and we're we're uh, looking for a show to watch right now. The, we're going to watch an entire season of a '70s or '80s, uh, preferably drama, but comedies are in the running as well. And right now, the leader in the clubhouse is Quincy. We want to watch a whole season. Great of show, great show. Is it? Oh, great. Jack Klugman. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, pff, so I know the premise show. is basically that the coroner really gets involved as they often yeah, do in yeah, murder yeah. investigations. Oh yeah, great. It was, that was off like six seasons. I bet. Yeah. So we made that's on one of the cable channels now, like one of the old ones at like Cozy TV or whatever they are, which fascinate me. I love old channels like that. Yeah. So I don't know how they I don't know how they survive, but that's on there. How long was was Quincy on for, Dave? Look that up. I'm gonna say it was at a six year run. We'll be investigating. I remember the tra- the, the the pre like the the. Uh, the intro for like at the Emmys, like in bed with like two girls. Seven years, <laughs> eight seasons. Seven, eight seasons. Oh my eight god, seasons. that's what a, a run! Hell of a run. Jesus, Jack Jesus. Klugman, co-star of The Odd Couple, of course, and in Twelve Angry Men. So that would be like if you, when you were talking to a uh, Coney County Coroner Carl, Carl Addis, Addis. Yes. If he was like, guys, this is my jurisdiction. Beat it. I'm, well, well, I'm handling the investigation. I will say, if you looked up post for Carl Addis, he got a little bit of trouble. Oh, is that right? Yes, in that some somewhere in that world with. Uh, some inappropriate acts in his office. Oh, no. Yes. yes oh, boy. Yes, yes, yes. So, Qu- oh, so Quincy's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oof. So we I, might take a look at Quincy. So if that sounds appealing to you folks, buckle up. To watch the whole series, <laughs> episode by episode, finally, and do it right. I think we might. The episodes Speaking are 90 minutes long. Oh, God. No, they're not. They are not 90 minutes long. <laughs> well, that's what it says on Wikipedia. No, they're not. I Maybe the pilot was 90 minutes yeah, long. Season be. one was 90 minutes long. No, okay. not every episode of season one was 90 minutes long. Okay. That makes no sense. How would season they one, syndic- in, they it's in its entirety, was 90 minutes it says an hour. Yeah, an it's hour. an hour. Yeah. Um, Holy shit. Speaking of cheers, James Burroughs, the famous director of almost all the episodes, Mike. Yes. Uh, has a book out, Dave, which okay. I'm reading right now. So if you want to book James Burroughs, or Jimmy ah. Burroughs, as they call him, I'd like to get him on. If you guys do the podcast, he'd be a great guest for you. Would be. So Would book be. him, Dave. He's got a book out. Okay. He's pumping the book right now. Easy. Easy? Yeah, sure. You're saying guaranteed? Oh, lock. Yeah. A book, the book thing. That's easy every time. Every, every time? time? Every single time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get Sounds coach good. on as well. I, that might be tough. That might be tough. What else? Eh, nothing else exciting going on. No? What's going on with you, Justin? Anything? Uh, grandfather's in the hospital. So, oh, I'm sorry yeah, to hear that. Yeah, well, he's fighting through it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I, I'm just laughing at the idea that that was his response to anything exciting going on. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's exciting. What's uh, what's going on with him? Uh, they're doing a bunch of tests. He might have had a heart attack. So oh, he's just keeping him, keeping him in Faulkner. I'm visiting him after this. So Great. Fantastic. It's, it's wonderful. The, uh, oh my God, is, is Jerry and the rest of these, they are obsessed with these drag shows, huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. The the videos, he retweets every oh. fucking one. Rob to me again yesterday, he's like, you see the one in DC, they have the boobs flying around, there's a kid right behind him. I'm like, <laughs> well, why are you, I mean, that's like on the parents for bringing a kid. I'm like, it is definitely weird. Like, it's odd, it's strange. What do you, what, like, now what? Like, I, I don't really know what you want me to do about it. Sure, I get hard when I watch them, <laughs> but these are children. I don't really, like, it's very, uh, it's very strange. The yeah. world is changing awfully fast, and I think it's strange. Like, yeah. now what? Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I wish gas was a dollar fifty. I care way more about that. Maybe I'm nuts. I, I don't know. 
They're try, I think it's a conspiracy. They're trying to get you to switch to electric vehicles. You think it could be. I suppose that's possible. Um, I was going to mention something else. What was it? Oh, so this week we've got Riggs on Wednesday. Yes. He's booked. And Mike and uh, Greg Polar on Thursday, Mike. Very exciting. Yeah, it should be interesting. I don't know. Does he, has he acted a lot? Would I know him from I anything? I don't think so. Okay. Because he, 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 most of his work in Sweden, he had like a sitcom there for like five years, I think. Right. It was based on his own experience, I believe. Interesting. And he's been, he's lived there the whole time. I think he's lived there for like 10 years or something. So I think he's a big fan of the show. So should be good after, you know, I, I don't know what the, I didn't really pay attention to the feedback of uh, Montante on Thursday. I thought he was very good. Yeah? Yeah. I thought it was split. For, considering it was his first time on, I thought he did a good job. Yeah. What did you say, Dave? It seemed like people were split on him. Like yeah, he, people are splitting everything, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But no, That's a good he, thing, though, right? Oh, yeah, sure. What, what do you mean, Dave? I don't know. I just all the reaction I saw. Either they loved him or they hate him. But they it was always political. political. Like with it's his stupid is. conspiracy. Uh, thing, which he did a horrible job explaining. So terrible. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Absolutely. He was yeah. nervous, though. Yeah. I even thought that was like, fu- he kept it fun rather than getting like angry about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Poor, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. I'd agree. Yeah. Yeah. But he seems like he's, I don't know. Obsessed with Bill Gates. Jesus. I thought he'd be a little crazier. Yeah. I think. But I don't know. It's first time, though. Yeah. First time, I thought he was fine. What do you think, Justin? I think, I, think I think he did a good job. Yeah. Uh, I think what, what, I see a lot of the feedback saying like he didn't fight with you enough. It's like, well, what's he? What's people he always say do? that. I don't. I don't know people. Like, people just hate. You know, just everyone. There are people who just want to hate the show. Of course, professionally, we know that. Uh, and we give them YouTube shows. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I don't. You know, I'm not sure what that's about. But hey, listen, that's what we do. I, and then you know, there'll be no other show in the world gives people. The form to hate this shit like we do, but that's all right. Whatever, that's fine. No big deal. Um, uh, what was I going to say? It's something else I was going to mention. Show related for this week. And then we're off in the next two weeks. Yes. Oh, there, is there a Milton's trip of some kind? Oh yeah, you're, are you coming right or no? I, I'm sure, but it's on the day I'm not here. Oh, it's, I don't think we're doing the show. Oh, oh right? it's tomorrow. No, it's Wednesday with Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, after the Riggs show. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll. Go I didn't know if Riggs was replacing me. Uh, I mean, certainly welcome to join us. I don't know if I can pick you up. All right. right. Yeah. Easy okay. enough. Uh, obviously, Riggs is welcome to join us as well. I don't know if it's... Do we have a time or no? 12.30. 12.30 in Burlington. In Burlington. Okay, so we'll be at Milton's, a store for men is what you're saying. Yes. At 12.30 on Wednesday. That is correct. Okay, we'll get all our stuff... A lot of stuff for the Wilbur, I suppose, right? Yes. Which is looming. It's less... We're actually going to... I think we're actually going to do the Wilbur. It's less than a month... Of, it's a little more than a month <laughs> it's away. It's actually going to happen. It's exciting. It's like 34 days away or whatever. No, I've seen a lot of cases of monkeypox creeping up there locally, so you never know. Are there really a lot? I think there are like two more people tested positive or something. Not oh. a lot, no. What's that, Justin? I didn't say anything. Oh, I hear some, Is that somebody outside or something? Probably, yeah. I heard, what? I think I heard like screaming or something. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. What is that? You want to check it out? Sure, go ahead. Investigate. Take your time with my advice, too. <laughs> <laughs> Even by your standard, you're bringing nothing to the table today. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> oh, uh, Milton's, the store for men. Uh, spring is here. I feel like uh, it's, uh, is it, it's not summer yet. Mm. Not technically. 20, it's 20th now. or 21st? It's like 3,000 degrees out right now. Uh, everything you need to make it uh, through the summer. A spring collection, Tommy Bahama, Vineyard Vines, Under Armour, new collections from Peter Millar, my guys, Ferrity. Uh, go to one of their stores, Social Plaza, Braintree, Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill, and now open at the Burlington Mall or shop online at Milton's.com. New arrival in dress and casual shoes, which I need to pick up. I got to pick up some nice shoes as well. Uh, colon. Uh, 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 if you're getting married or attending a wedding, Milton's buy one, get one free suit event is going on right now. And like Mike here, you actually have to buy one to get one free. You make like six suits the other day. <laughs> yeah, so I have a wide selection of suits separate from Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, and Tommy Hilfiger, which are all on sale right now. Again, Burlington Mall, brand new store at the Burlington Mall. We'll be there in my old stomping grounds. So Burlington Mall, where I spent many a day uh, in my youth, many, many, many a day in my youth, walking through there, beautiful food court. They used, to have, they used to have a standalone Little Regina's too, which was tremendous. Ooh. Gone now, part of a food court. Great movie theater there back in the day as well. And a, a Herman's Sporting Goods store, which you guys probably don't remember. Not familiar. Mm, no, nope. never heard of Herman's. Yep, yep, yep. And they had a uh, Laureate's bookstore. Okay. Which is probably before your day as well. That I've heard of at least. Yeah, and right. uh, Christmas, they would have a Santa Claus there, Mike. Probably before your day as well. No. Yes. Was Herman's a many chain? Santa <laughs> Uh, yes. My male role model as a child. That's, that's all you had. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, it, well, I think it was like a local, look up YouTube, so you can get the Herman Sports commercial. I bet you it's, it might be there. Ooh. Maybe? Let me see. For some reason I have the song in my head. Am I saying, am I thinking of it correct? I don't know. Herman's World of Sporting Goods. Is there a song for it? Herman's, we are sports. Uh, it's my head, I don't know why. 
It was before you said it, or now it is right here. We are sports. We've got a gift for sports during Herman's huge holiday outdoor and fitness sale. We got it. Save from 20 to 40 percent on camping equipment, sleeping, sleeping bag, bag jackets, jackets, parka, parka, all ski equipment, all ski apparel and equipment, accessories. And accessories. Plus I love these. You watch old shows on like YouTube or something. I love when they keep the old commercials. Oh, it's the best. In. Yeah. Competitors advertise price, so come and get it now for a limited time at Herman's. We are sports. So here it is. Here's another one from 1993, going out of business. So that makes oh. sense. So yeah. So <laughs> about and that's a but that's a Detroit one though. So it was a national chain, I think. Okay. So it was a Herman's yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Brought to brought to ball before it sold out and got the second floor. Oh, that tremendous mall. Now, you know, it's great. You can go to the mill and you walk in right there. But now it's like a big, back then it was a gutsy mall. Sure. You know? Now it's a rough and tumble people, operation. Which I yeah. respect. Yep. That's why Milton's goes in there. You got to go there. Go there right now. If you can't, you go online to Milton's.com and get all your stuff there. Our great, great, great partners of Milton's will be there Wednesday. Right, break bread after, Dave? Yes, I think so. Okay. Where? Well, food court? Uh, what are the options there? You know that. Like, uh, There's a whole bunch of new cakes, places right? there now. Hey, cheesecake's too busy. Yeah. Too much for me. Yeah. Uh, what's the new burger? They got the burger place there right by there. You, you know, uh, Mike's a food court guy. Mm. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is there at the food court. Yeah. You know, Dave supports Chick-fil-A. God knows. <laughs> He's friends with the Pret- owners. He doesn't like their chicken. He, no, he, he likes, likes the, the stances. It's like the family. That's yeah. all. <laughs> so go to Milton's right now. Milton's.com. Get moving uh, and get your great deals there right now. I should mention this weekend, Saturday, the Market Basket in Billerica, Massachusetts. One of the three in Billerica, but the one I went to as a child. Closed after 45 years. Oh. Shut down after 45 years. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, RDS, that son of a bitch. It wasn't his fault. So the, no. so the Billerica Mall, who I think they, they're, they're doing something there. I don't know what they're doing. There used to be a Kmart there. They're knocking it down, putting something huge there. The story I read, they said to them, we're not, you can't lease here anymore. You're done. So I bet Jesus. you they're putting like maybe a Target there or something where there's already groceries maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Walmart. I took Harry there. We walked around and he was like, why am I here? I'm like, because I went here as a kid to get groceries. My mom. Isn't this exciting? And he's like, uh, okay, can, can we just go please? And I was like, yeah, but I used to get my magazines right there. I used to get my Billboard magazine right there, Harry. There's a chance Harry's generation will never leave the house for groceries. Yeah, man, just never leave the house. Probability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing better than a grocery store, but he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't care. He didn't care. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, you want to take some calls? Sure. I will right, take a few. Chair is particularly squeaky today, I will say. Get some WD-40 in here. Mm. Is your grandfather going to die, uh, Justin, or no? Eventually. I mean, is he going <laughs> to die like this week? Oh, no. I hope not. <laughs> Agree to disagree. <laughs> well, Justin gave out his location if anyone wants to go in and <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> you know, start fucking with the plugs. How old is he? 84. Nah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I predict he'll be fine. I predict he'll be fine. Hmm. You say you'll see him today? I am. That's good. good. Give my best. I will. Ask him to remember by me, please. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your dad's dad? Correct. Hmm. What's his first name? William. 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 Billy. Oh, well, Bill Trudeau. Creative nickname. <laughs> yeah. For the guest. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let me know when they're loaded up, Dave. People are slow this morning. Oh, is that right? Yes. I wonder why that is on a Monday. Ooh. Say Monday. Today's Monday. <laughs> Portnoy tweeted out about the uh, foreplay event today. Oh, he did? Yeah, he said foreplay live show tonight in Boston with Kirk. Show ends before Celtics game begins. Still a few tickets left. They are pumping that one oh, out. Oh, so that's good. It's only an hour and a half, you know? Must be. I guess. It's pretty good. I, I don't know. I mean, so, uh, this is, so this is a company where you do a live event, they will promote it? <sighs> For some people. Like is that what it is? For some oh, people. Must be nice. I've never been promoted like this before. I've never <laughs> seen my name so much in Barstool stuff. And that's just on Twitter. You should see. Oh. Of course, when stuff sells out in 90 seconds. You didn't well, give him time. Why well, promote something, I yeah, suppose. Right? I mean, the last show we did in Mississippi sold out before the tickets went out. True. It's called they fucked it up. Because I gave them all behind true. the scenes. Are they loaded up? Uh, not yet. No. Are they are really slow. not? Yeah, people are slow. I'm confused. I think they're, they're coming now. Maybe what? the system's slow. I don't understand. Eight full lines? There are eight lines. Coming I just want to clarify. Yeah, they're, coming in, they're coming in now, though. I don't understand. I tweeted it out. All right, we got five now. So that's good. We have five? Yeah. I thought we have eight lines. We have eight lines, but we have five. So five are full at the moment. Yeah, we're good. Hang up. Okay. <laughs> I'm all set. Omaha Steaks, the world's best beef. Uh, visit omahasteaks.com. Type my name in the search bar and order the Dad's Want Steaks package today. You get eight of their new, bigger Omaha Steaks. 
uh, absolutely free because Omaha Steaks, everything is backed by their 100% money back guarantee. I, I talk about Omaha Steaks all the time. They're the greatest. Uh, every steak and every entree are flash, frozen, vacuum sealed, and ready for dad to love whenever he's hungry. Remember, Father's Day coming up this weekend. Uh, you get that great package for bacon wrapped filet mignons, four uh, boneless pork chops, four air chilled boneless chicken breasts, uh, four of the great hot dogs right there, gourmet jumbo franks. Uh, you get the Omaha Steak seasoning and free with this package. Uh, uh, eight Omaha Steaks burgers. The package price is only $99. That's so a $250 value. Meat is shipped flash frozen, vacuum sealed. F uh, features all that great stuff. I'm telling you, get moving right now. You, uh, it's the best Father's Day package you're going to get for your dad or your husband, boyfriend, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, uh, father-in-law, whatever it is. Do it right now uh, for dad. He'll love it. Uh, get moving right now. OmahaSteaks.com. Type my name, K-I-R-K, in the search bar. Order that Dad Wants Steaks package. They get eight of those bigger Omaha Steaks burgers absolutely free. Uh, again, everything back, 100% money back guarantee. You're not going to need it, but it's there for you as well. If you want it, Omaha Steaks, uh, get moving on that right now. What are you doing on Father's Day day for your dad? Um, Other so than we Omaha just Steaks, go obviously. Uh, group gift. So I think we're getting that. Oh, you mentioned this, yeah. Yeah, fire pit this year, I believe. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's a nice little fire pit. Oh, they don't have that. They don't have a fire. Oh, that's, no. They go use it or no? Oh, yeah, they did. They, they use shit like that. I mean, he, Big Jack would make his own fire pit, but this is like a professional fire pit. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. How about for your dad, Mike? That's cute. Well, you'll get him something? <laughs> I'll send the obligatory text. Oh, well, that's good enough. <laughs> he has no, I've asked this before, but he has no kids like after, like on his, like with his. Me and my brother. No, no, no. Yeah, with the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we talked about this last week. So what's explain this again? I don't understand. <laughs> it's un it's unbelievable. It's been talked about so much that people, accounts I've never seen before, were like, we know you have a brother and two stepbrothers. <laughs> what do you, we say? If you ask one of these two a question about me, they will answer. <laughs> they don't have to have any idea. They'll just throw out an so answer. So what do we say? I don't remember. What do we say? <laughs> you, like you, said, half -brothers. you said, you go, Mike, because uh, Mike Montante had a half-brother. Okay. And you go, oh, just like Mike, you right? You have a half-brother, right? And <laughs> No. <laughs> and oh, just, a stepbrother. Justin goes, uh, he does. I think he has a... He has a half brother, and he might have a real brother. But you have a step brother, right? <laughs> I have two step brothers. Yes. Is that a half brother? No, half brother would mean they're blood related. Half brother would be like if oh. Kevin, my mom, oh. had a kid together. Oh, so Kevin, Kevin has kids from his previous. Correct. Relate. Oh, I've got yes. you. I've got yeah, you. Yeah, I've got yeah. you. I got you. I got you. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. That's who. That's who you're talking about. Right. Okay. Yeah, so so you're as no I've noted in the past, if you ask one of these two, they'll throw out an answer. <laughs> so very ask away. About on it. Wednesday, at fire away. Questions about me. <laughs> huh. But you have a full brother. Yes, I do. Younger. Yes. Okay. You don't have you, have, you don't have a great relationship with him. I have a fine relationship with him. Mm -hmm. I would not like. We I would don't say talk it doesn't seem like it's great. There's no tension. Put it that way. Okay, but you don't you don't ever see him other than just correct you. holidays and things like that. Yeah. What does he do? Not specifically, but does he? Uh, in the insurance biz. Okay, he's doing yes. all right. Yeah. Is he in Western Mass? Yes. Okay, so we never left that area. No. Okay. So you look down at him because you're out there chasing the dream. No, not at all. He's, he's, just, a, he's just some. <laughs> he's just some the, the opposite. He's a homeowner. He's doing well. Oh, so he looks down on you. Probably, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would think, think so. so. Yeah, he must be disgusted. Must be yeah, he disgusted. does his silly podcast. <laughs> huh, okay, so we, okay, so now I remember. All right, so you have a brother and two half-brothers. To the point where, I, no, two step-brothers. Step, damn it, yes. two step-brothers, right. Yeah. To the point what? Well, I, I hate to even bring it up to bring, now that you've forgotten, why bring it up again? But to the well, point so, where oh, you've it. alluded to the fact that one of them has possibly molested me in Correct. the past. Oh, I thought you molested them. <laughs> I thought it would have been more memorable. Who molested you? Uh, I don't remember which way it was. You blacked it out? I'm saying... Oh, yes, interesting. Yes, oh, okay. yes, yeah. Often that happens. Huh. Oh, I'm saying one of the half-brothers? <laughs> yes. Are they older? Um, Step-brothers. One me. is six months older. I'm sorry. One is six months younger. The other is a year and a half older. Would you say you're closer to the step-brothers than your brother? No. Oh, I'd okay. say about the same. But, oh, but the same. Yeah. Are they, cl are they have any different relationship with your brother? No. I don't think so. Just kind of the same. Yeah, more or less. So you guys, but you, I mean, we're all we're friendly. How many times a year? You know? is, how many times a year is everyone in the same room? Like twice? No, normally, no COVID, whatever. Let's say four okay. is the over under. All right, so yeah. like Christmas, whatever, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, all right. One of the kids' birthdays or something. Oh, they have kids. Uh, one of them does. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, that's not bad. Yeah. Huh. All right. What do you take? What's nice to take? meet you guys. What's your take on that, Justin? What's Mike not telling us? <laughs> I feel like he's hiding. Go ahead. <laughs> well, so when did you meet these step brothers? Like when were you introduced to Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. The process of I was when like nine? When when Kevin started dating your mom. Did you move all move in together? No, not at first. So Oh, that's right. You lived with them when you were in high school, right? When I was in high school. When I was um It's gonna be kind of weird, no? 
When I was a sophomore in high school. Oh, okay. All so right. I was older by the time they'd moved in. They, okay, they get married after that. No, they got married before. They lived with their mom for a while. Like, Kev lived with me in, like, oh, 2003. Oh, I was pretty young. Okay, okay. But they lived with their mom for a while. And they have no kids, Kevin and your mom. Not together, no. Right, that's what I mean. No. Well, ob- obviously, they have them separately, like, you're <laughs> well, here. I feel like I have to yeah, keep reminding you. Yeah, that, that part I got. That part I, got. That part I understand. So they've been married for a long time. That's correct. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's nice. That's almost, nice. Almost 20 years, I guess. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. And they're back here now, obviously, from Florida. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When will you see them again? There's a chance we go over Sunday. I wouldn't put it a great chance, but there's a you chance. You're not disgusted by this, no? What's the, what's huh? the issue? What's, you, don't sound like, you sound like you're dreading it almost. Mike, well, Mike yeah, always human sounds like he's dreading things when he talks about his family. <laughs> I know, it's <laughs> weird. Always, there's no positivity whatsoever. any human whatsoever. interaction. His mom seems really, very nice. Kevin so seems like a very lo- nice lovely guy. People. Lovely yeah, people. I don't yeah, a nice home, I would imagine. No, it's me. I'm a miserable... A yeah. miserable cunt. Well, I know. I, I don't know. I, who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Right. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. Anything else show related we need to discuss or no? I don't think so. I no? Think so. How are you feeling with the Wilbur? Good. Yeah? Yeah, we had a nice little talk about it. I don't know what you were trying to avoid the other day, but we had a nice talk about it in well, here. it was pretty brief. I would say. It, wasn't, it was about 90 seconds. <laughs> no, it was seconds. like 15 minutes. It was not 15. I was not in there for 15 10 minutes. 10 minutes. No, it was not. It was definitely, no, it was yeah. definitely not 10 minutes. Yeah, no, it was not. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you my takeaway from that, which I forgot. I actually almost wanted to lead the show with it. Is I didn't realize Justin's as blind as you are. Oh, that's not oh. true. Well, he can't be. He drives. But, but he, he is. shouldn't. He, he, <laughs> so, he, so I walk in. I walk into. Yeah, he the, gets close to the screen. Yeah. I walk into the room. The laptop thing. And Justin has the laptop on his knees, and it's like the screen is. Uh, how far from his face, David? Two oh, inches? It yeah, it's pretty. And close. He's typing away, and I'm an like, inch, "What yeah. the fuck is going on?" He's like, "Oh, he's like." Quote, he's like, I get the same thing Mike has. Yeah. But I'm yeah. like, well, he can't. Well, we, we well, talk, like, he has a form of it. But he, see, he can see well enough different. to drive. But you can't wear glasses? Like, I, my grandfather is the same thing I do, and he drove for like 50 years. I yeah. wear glasses when I drive. They don't help my vision. So why do you wear them when you drive? Because legally, I have to wear glasses when I drive. <laughs> yeah, but why? But but who's going to stop you while you're driving? Well, he doesn't know. Well, if I, stop, if I get pulled oh, over I and I'm not wearing glasses, <laughs> then I'm technically driving Beyond okay. the means of my license, okay. and that can lead to a- This is what a horrible, whatever, uh, friend or whatever you want to call it, lack of observation that uh-huh. I have is that he would come to my house to do Mike and the Minifans every mm-hmm. week, yep. and he would always look that close at his computer screen, and, uh, you know, probably six months into that, I think Alba or someone asked me, like, hey, does Justin have trouble seeing you get so close to the screen? I was like, well, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, cr- it's, it's crazy. It's the same thing as you with the phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Justin is just like a, there's just nothing right. Like, everything's a disaster. <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean by that? He's just like the, the face, the body, the eyes. I think eyes. he does pretty well, all things considered. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I agree. But I'm like, it's just an experiment gone wrong. <laughs> like, it's just nothing right. Uh, I don't understand. Mentally, he's a mess. Like, there's just, I don't know what the upside. You get, there's a full head of hair, I guess. If you examine guys like me, Justin. he's like a redhead, which is yeah, like, which stinks. Like, there's no, yeah, he's a hell of a dancer, but that's it. Great dancer. <laughs> yeah. If you examine guys like me and Justin not killing ourselves, it is a brave tale. If that's you really true. dove into it. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't even know, like, I mean, that scream is like bumping into his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His knees up. And then, like, as I the say, as I've always said, as I would say to, uh, or think in my mind about Dave Portnoy when he would bring this up, uh-huh. I'm blind. I'm blind all the time. I'm blind if there's a screen in front of me. Like, you're blind. Yeah, well, I know you're blind. I didn't know he was blind, though. Like, you're blind. Like, he's. Yeah, the driving thing does make it, I guess, more of a. Like, clearly you shouldn't be driving, Justin. No. No. <laughs> no. Don't you take away. You my drove to Mississippi. Don't you take away. Yeah, my I put drive. my life in his hands Stupid all the way down. guys driving the Mississippi. Mate. <laughs> yeah. You should have just taken over while he was like, taking a nap, but no different. Yeah. And you're right, Dave. He types weird. Oh, I, it's because he's so close to the screen. He doesn't have like, room for his like, hands. It's like so he types like, yeah. like he has like no arms, just yeah. hands. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I can see things. I can't read things. Like you see how many fingers oh. I'm holding up? Now? I think you. I don't think it's yes, a sight you issue. Have four. So well, then, that, so then, what's the issue then? I, I have. I just can't read. Like I, you just saw how many fingers I have from like I know, how far away. Ten feet. Away. Like it's different from seeing shapes and reading. Ah, I see what he's saying. I feel like this is stolen blind valor. Mike. I don't know. If you should. <laughs> I, 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 he doesn't bring it up. Tried. He doesn't never, bring it up. I'll give him that. So show me how you type. Like Dave, film this for the people who are going to watch it. Like just type like you would Justin like normally. <laughs> It's just so close. It's weird. For the folks at home, he's typing. The Kenobi sequel was <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, good enough. We only know he's typing. But 
Yeah, it's just, I, yeah, I mean, I feel bad. It's just, you know, it's weird. I don't know. There's, there's nothing you can do. Like, I know well, it's the same as Mike, so probably not, I guess, right? Uh, I, I don't will, know that it's exactly, it might not be exactly the same. Yeah, I have like a different version of juvenile macular degeneration, but yeah. I will be legally blind at some point in my life if I get there. I mean, you are now? Like, have you tested? If you, when was the last time you tested? Uh, a couple of years ago when I renewed my license. See, it was, I think it's actually worse for you than Mike because you've had the full vision. Like, you've, you're going through more than Mike, wouldn't you say? I No, my vision is actually... the answer I wanted, Justin. Okay. <laughs> well, it remains like... Because I would always sit very close to the TV when I was, like, a child. Uh-huh. As my, did I. And my parents would be like, the fuck's wrong with you? You're going to go like, blind. <laughs> just, just sit back. And then I got tested, and they were like, oh, I have the same thing my grandfather had. And uh, he was oh, legally same. blind. Uh-huh. We have a very... Bizarre amount of similarities, me and Justin. <laughs> that's probably, I mean, I, I, that's probably where it comes from, right? I'm guessing is, is, yes, is a male. Yes, it's uh, linked to the uh, X chromosome. Right. So, yeah. But it doesn't have to be your grandfather necessarily, you know? Sure. Like so, with mine, it's that both parents so have like, the genes. So, the, uh, the odds are then that you will. No, then... mine is different. My, oh, my mom carried it, but since she's XX, not XY, ah. she passed it on to me. And so, you then pass it on to your children potentially? I will only pass it on to my daughter. Daughter. Who will not oh. have the disease? I believe mine is just a recessive gene. Oh, is that like right? Like if Alba also has the, or whoever I knock up also has the right. gene, then the kid that a kid has a one in four chance. I think it's like the roll offs. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, my right eye is weak, though. I will also say, but I don't think I have that. Just three guys who struggle together. <laughs> do you, so do you wear glasses all day or no? I have contacts in right now. Oh, okay. How's your vision? Awful. Do the worst. Awful. Probably the worst in the room. Awful. Is that true? <laughs> totally, he's completely blind. I don't like to complain about it's it. Never, you can't see anything. <laughs> totally blind. Huh. But yeah, I was just watching him type. I was just very, I don't know. Like, I would say we have a bunch of ideas for the Wilbur. I can tell the Cullinane Trudell team is not going to pull it off. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What I mean, mean, it's not going to, it's going to be a miss is my prediction. Okay. This is my prediction. I don't, I think of what show, we've talked about? Yeah, I think the show's going to be disappointing. Huh. That's my that's my prediction. Hopefully, I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll, well see. I have a feeling that means you won't be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I if I were I wouldn't if I were somebody on the summer on a nice Saturday night I'd, I, for me it'd be a pass. <laughs> sure, go in the city. You've already paid your ticket. Who cares? Like yeah. go down the. You cave consider or, you bought it so long ago. It's lost money yeah, at this who point. Who cares? Right? Like, <laughs> You've forgotten about it. Go enjoy the day. Like go play golf or go sit in the sun. Have some ice cream. <laughs> fucking sit there. Like and fucking you know. It's just going to be, that's going to be the longest day of all time. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. All time. But anyway, I don't know. What else? Anything else? Nothing exciting out there, unfortunately. No? Yeah. Anything going on in the world this morning since we started the show? Uh, not that I've seen. Amber Heard with her first sit down coming out this week. That'll oh, be exciting. That's still yeah. going on? I mean, nobody cares, right? There's point. a documentary on Hulu about it or something? Already, I saw, yeah. Really? It yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, boy, Portnoy did tweet that, huh? A night of foreplay. Funny name. I've never like this. I'll, I'll retweet uh, Gaz on this one for this. But like, geez, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen the show pump like this as much. What do you think that means? Well, I'm sure that I'm sure there's a ticket, but I mean, like, is it really that? Like, I mean, everyone's tweeting about it. I don't know. Um, I think it depends on. Everyone you know, likes them. They're good guys, too. Right. I was going to say, KFC himself probably tweets that much about KFC radio live shows. I guess, or yeah. Or just the YouTube. Yeah, I'm already thinking about the next live show in the fall. I just don't know what yet. Interesting. We'll see. I don't know. I mean... Well, it won't be Sonko, sadly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with... Uh, I haven't heard anything. I've just seen was, the pictures that, like, that, too. that John posted about the screen going back up and stuff like that, but I haven't seen anything. Who haven't posted? I didn't see it. John uh, Featherston posted that oh, the screen didn't? was up at Aquaboggin or whatever. Oh, it is already oh, up. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I think it's still a ways to go. A chance. But, yeah. That feels like that's not going to happen this summer, though, right? Now it's already the middle of June? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we won't do. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a new place, like a smaller theater in the fall. I don't want to do another big show. I don't think. I don't know. Who knows? I, maybe we'll do nothing. I don't know. Mike's doing a live show, which I'm looking forward to. You go to blindmike.net for all the live show details yes. right now, correct? 2027. Is that right? That's right. I think you guys will do a live show next year. That's Book it prediction. now. That's my prediction. Live show next year. It's possible. How was Craig and the Craig-Jerry Callahan relationship? I did not speak to Jerry about this yesterday. Uh, it's, Oddly, it didn't come up. It's, it's fine. It's fine as far as I know. Although Craig was not on this week's episode of the Blind Mike Project. Why not? He was off doing God knows what. I don't know. Oh, is that right? Other duties to attend to. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, go to blindmike.net. Get all your information there, correct? And it was, again, sabotage. The Jerry Callahan logo was on the podcast until Matt fixed it. Oh, is that true again? Thank God. Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Huh. I just like the idea of Jerry ordering the code red. <laughs> get, get that logo on his podcast. <laughs> Thanks, Ironhead. 
Do you think Craig's enjoying working with Jerry, or is he oh, just? Oh yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah, yes. I think definitely. So. Oh, yeah. he's into it. Oh, yeah. he is. Like, very much. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. But Justin pointed out something that I, uh, I guess, just never really noticed. But What's that? when Justin pointed out, I think he's one hundred percent right. That when I go on my, you know, liberal rants, <laughs> Craig will like, k- kind of like pretend he's agreeing with me, but silently like disagree. Good. Oh, <laughs> like, is that right? <laughs> yeah. You won't say anything. Yeah, like I brought up something about um that Pizza Hut. Thing yeah. from a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Craig was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. But I mean, it is. It does involve kids." And I kept like ignoring him that he right. was saying that. And Justin pointed out like he wants to disagree with you, but he's like afraid to. Like, I don't know what it is. Why would he be afraid? Not afraid, but like uncomfortable. Is he that his way or no? He doesn't want to come. I off. think he's probably think not a confrontational mean. guy. You know? No. Yeah. Does he speak at all on Jerry's podcast? Not really. Mm, Every now and then. Yeah. 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 You still listen to it? Eh, not as much. No. No, no, hmm. no. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't listened to it too much. We were talking before the show. Why is that January sixth hearing in prime time? Uh, like, I take away the topic. I just mean like, I how do they get it in prime time? Well, I well, think I mean hearings sometimes go on. Like, it, it, you yeah, know, but they deliberately are doing. This oh, for sure. Get oh, for sure. Well, what is their that seems reasoning? Fucked up. Obviously, the reason is to put it in prime time and fucking get Republicans of out of office. I guess. Of course. But like, what is their reason? If you asked them, what would they say? Uh, they, oh, like a like a like a Democratic senator or something. Yeah, ask, yeah, like we used to ask yeah. them. You mean like the like that? Whoever's one. putting it, whoever's decision it is to put it at eight o'clock. You get the most eyeballs on this horrific thing that happened in this country. Okay. This is what they would say. That's not what they mean. But right. like right now, like it would make sense to me if you said like gun control is the most uh, pressing issue. Yeah, I'll be in, very in to be very today. clear. I don't give a fuck about January sixth. Like I just find it. I don't care about it. I, like I've, I'm not saying to talk about it right now, but I'm just yeah. saying, like I've moved on from it. I think it was like embarrassing. I think those people look like idiots. It turned out to be overblown. Like sure. Everybody that day, it was overblown. Like yep. it just, it just, it was a stupid. Trump looked like an idiot. It was a horrific moment. It turned out not to be as bad as we thought it was that day. But they're clinging on to it because it's something you can get. Still, they're still obsessed. Fucking almost two years later, right? Yep. yep. You're not with, with taking Trump down. Fucking move on. Like this Biden presidency so far has been a disaster. I'm one of the few people. I think Trump is a moron. I think Biden's a moron. I can tell you, the Trump presidency has been a fucking epic. Failure so far in doing this, Biden, is, Biden, well, I say, yeah, Biden. Trump, I'm sorry, Trump. Biden. Yeah, presidency in doing this is not going to change that. Like they, they, they don't. They, they, they keep playing these old hits. Stop. Trump is gone. Nothing is Trump's fault anymore. He's been gone for a year and a half. Like you've obliterated him from existence. Like, congratulations. Like what are you doing? Then you see AOC tweeting about, oh, I see this, and it brings back these horrific. She wasn't even there that day. Well, she was nearby. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's like Colin. It affected all of us. Yeah, like... It, it was my 9-11. Correct, yes. Like, move on. But, yeah, but that's why they do it, so obviously. But couldn't you see, like, right now, you could see them do that with gun control? Like a sure, gun control, they should. A hearing, because that's what everybody in America is right. talking about. It would solve moment. anything, but sure. No, but yeah. that would make sense to me. Now, here yes. this is, you're manipulating. You're using primetime airwaves. Correct. Right? To, it's just... I don't yeah, know. yeah. It and strange. Fox didn't air it, right? Fox, Fox News. Fox didn't, but there was some segment over the weekend, they... they Somebody said maybe it was on Fox Business. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, it was Fox News had a segment this weekend about a trans kid, and like the right wing lost, the right side lost their minds over it. I guess like now, now Fox is becoming too left wing. Oh, for it the wasn't the way right. it was supposed to. Yeah, broadcast. And it's not like Newsmax yeah. or what's the other one? OAN. What? OAN. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they want to. But soon enough, Newsmax won't be like that, and then something else will be created, and something else will be created. So it's just like I am. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, it was very weird. They were they were you know doing it like you know, like a special like when Regis used to do Millionaire Prime like <laughs> two week sweeps. It was like you know, there's a, it's like yeah, they're all back. Footage. Yeah, the whole gang is back. People getting like, trampled. Yeah, like it was like that day. I remember Steve and I were in upstate New York interviewing um, Mailer's brother for the case. Right. We were driving back and this was happening. We stopped. So we were texting or calling when it was going on. We're like, this is the fucking craziest thing that's ever happened in America. Like we thought the capital was taken over and like like 500 people were going to die or yep. something. Yep. It was a it was a, a terrible day. Awful. Trump looks terrible, but it was not as bad as we thought it was that day. It just wasn't. Like I mean, I don't I don't know what to say about it other than that, right? Do you disagree or? I think it's important we never forget. I mean, do you want to have a hearing about it? Sure, they have hearings about everything. But like, do we need to have a... Pro- I, I don't know. That's my only thing is like, what is the possible justification for purposely putting it on prime time when that's never been done I'm before? I'm not sure for I'll spend any- the money to do funding to take care of like, you know, research pancreatic cancer or something. I don't know. Like, I, or whatever. Like, whatever yeah. you... what MS. Whatever you want. Like, I don't... 
And I'm sure and by the way, by the way, I'm sorry, Mike. By the way, what is going to come out of this? Yeah. You think, uh, you think Trump's going to jail? Maybe. Of course not. We can only, so like, we what, can only like, pray. Like, you know, Trump said stupid shit about Pence. Well, dude, what a fucking shock. Like, he says stupid shit, you know. I, and then he lost the, he lost the, well, obviously he didn't lose. He was stolen. It was rigged. Stolen. <laughs> but, like, that that happened. So, like, now what? Now Biden's been in office for a year and they have, and they're still doing fucking Trump stuff. Yeah. To be fair, though, the other, I guess the other side, like the fucking uh, Mike Lindell's of the world are still talking about, you know, <laughs> voter fraud and all that shit. So. Here's what I give Biden, this is what I give Biden credit. If he held a press conference today, now I understand he's adult and all that stuff, but if he held a press conference today and said, look, like we're moving on, like Gerald Ford did in a way, uh, we're moving on. I'm giving a full pardon to Donald Trump for everything because what he did was a disaster, but I don't need it in our lives anymore. I'm here to fix this, 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 and this. Forget this idiot. We voted him out. He's gone. Goodbye. But that's never going to... Trump would Biden, lose their shit. <laughs> right. Oh, I know they For would. For a day, and yeah. then it would be... Fun. Yeah, but because, I mean, Biden is... Uh, Trump is not going to jail over this. It's just, it's just not going to happen. They must jerk off to that thought of right. him in a, but, an orange jumpsuit. But, like, and then what? Like, you know, I don't know. Like, it's just... But to your point, like, what does any of it accomplish? Like, nothing. Even, even if Trump went to jail, what does it accomplish? It's a chance for them to act. Yeah. Just like, to Mike's point, just like the right would act if they had an opportunity. To, this right. is not yeah, exclusive. Yeah, but it's, it's also a chance to make people more upset than they, like, were yesterday. It's like, you're pissing off truthfully, Trump people by doing this. Truthfully, just galvanizes the right base. Correct. Yeah, correct. Like, it just gets them all. It doesn't help. It, it, what they're, tr they're so dumb. They can't see fucking through the trees. Yeah. It's dumb. It's it, stupid. It's performative, and it's a fucking play. That's all it is is a play. It was bizarre just to watch, because I said it's never happened before. I'm sure people will point out 10 million times it's happened. But I've never seen where, literally, I clicked on CNN just to see how they were doing it. And there's like a pregame show with all the big, like right. Anderson right. Cooper in and shit. Like to have a pregame for this hearing. Now, were those 9-11 hearings, those primed? I don't remember. Maybe they I were. I don't know. Like that day, like with McGuire and Palmer, that was during the day. Right. That should, I mean, primetime, that would have done huge ratings. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I don't really... I don't know, but I think TV, like every network ran it live because it's probably better for them than running, you know, B positive reruns, I suppose. I, I would think, I, yeah. I guess. I also don't like, who's watching it? It's so fucking boring anyway. It's just everyone's, you know, you got Dick Cheney's daughter who's a fucking actor. Like, meanwhile, her fucking dad's a war criminal. Way worse than <laughs> Trump, honestly. Fucking hundreds of thousands of people are dead because he and Bush are idiots. And I'm sitting, listening to her fucking ramble on and on. And then AOC and then... You know, Pelosi, it's just like, oh, you're all fucking actors on both sides. Like, not, and, and nothing gets solved. Not a fucking thing. You're darn right. And Biden is still talking about Trump. Like, you fucking beat the guy. He's, he did stink, though, right, guys? <laughs> yeah, all right. Like, he stunk. Like, uh, Remember his tweets? You old idiot. Uh, no he kidding. is not, I don't know if it's to his credit or his dad. He hasn't done anything we thought he would. Like, everyone thought he would, you know, buy a TV network and make it Trump TV or something like that. He hasn't done any of that shit. He hasn't done anything. I don't know if that, well, I starting think, a social media. I don't know if he, you know, it's funny, hasn't, like, hasn't done anything. I don't know if he can. Yeah. As long as I wonder how much money Trump really has. Right. You know? That's true, too. Maybe we can ask him at some point. Next mm, week, it sounds like. Hopefully so. Probably next yeah. week, right? I don't like to no, put, hopefully nothing, like to put hopefully nothing tragic in America happens, Dave, because I'd hate to have the former president on the next day to discuss <laughs> those thought. events. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's not my decision to make, which I said. That's your decision to make. Thank you. And I just said I thought it would be, in we, in my opinion, it's in weird taste to do that. Why? We're, we're, this weird. Is, because we're... You ask about it, because we're what? We tell dick jokes on this show. Sometimes like, we do, sometimes sudden, we don't. Yeah. Oh, no, I get it. Yeah. That's just my opinion. What do you... A couple of weeks ago, we did a whole episode on that, that story about that runner. Just you and I. We do oh, 40 right. minutes. Yeah, so, right. I mean, we yeah. don't just do dick jokes. Sure. sure. We do dick jokes when Mike's here because he can't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy when he, it. When he leaves, we raise, <laughs> we raise, the, we raise the bar That's and level right. up. It becomes, yes. it becomes a room of gentlemen at that point. Right. Yes. Right. I remember those intellectual games yes. you would play yeah, when correct. I wasn't here. Oh, that's, that's, I took real film with that guy. You know? Right, right. Mike's the guy you're bringing in to talk about Quincy with. He's a simple man. <laughs> I am that. Yeah. yeah. I'll the give old, you that. The old stepbrother, half brother <laughs> joke that he's made famous over the years. Right. But even when Mike leaves today, me, Justin, and Dave will have a deep conversation. Oh, definitely. I imagine. I can't make it with a very deep conversation there. <laughs> right. Very deep. But Justin just sits there and stares at his, you know, I mean, he's on so many drugs and antidepressants. <laughs> just no, stares no, straight no, ahead. No, no, no. Cocktail. How much are you taking right now? What are you taking right now? Not taking anything. Oh, great. Really? Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh -oh. Doing good. You don't feel like you should be taking anything? I feel like I was taking a lot of stuff that wasn't working. So huh. You're off all meds right now? Correct. How long has that been the case? A uh, little, little bit, three, four months. Okay. Really? Yeah. Huh. Are you seeing anybody or no? I am. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's going okay. <laughs> seeing three guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's huh. uh, it's going. 
Is that a new therapist or the no, same? No, I'm, I'm, I've been with the same therapist since I was 16. Okay. All right. Hmm. And that's going okay. Yeah, it's going good. All right, good, good. Right, good. Glad to hear it. Um, yeah, sometimes it's, good. sometimes it's good to get off that stuff. It is actually, I, I can see that for sure. Uh, all right, so we're back Wednesday. Oh, we'll talk about Tommy John in a second. All right, so I have the Wilbur tonight. What time are you guys going? You guys pre-gaming or no? Oh, want to pre-game? <laughs> we'll probably get there right as it starts. Really? 7.30, probably. What do you think that show's going to be? I have no idea. I just think if I were them, I would just do their regular podcast and just I, like and air it. Like, yes, is to what and what and like air it whenever they release oh, their podcast. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I would do because I think it's I don't know. I, that's a tough thing to do anything special for, right? Golf. Like I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm always interested. I, I'll be curious to see. Are we gonna be? Do we have some time after so we can kind of look around the Wilbur a little bit or no? I haven't been there since Steve and I went right after we announced it. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to take a look just from a. Logistics I'm perspective. I'm sure they'll let us. Yeah, I'm sure they'll let us. Do they know that I'm going to be there? A man who too fast to sell it in the history of the building? <laughs> they do not. Okay. The, the people that run the place? No. Yeah, should not. I wear yeah. like a golf outfit? Yeah, wear a polo. Should I bring my yeah. clubs with me? My entire bag? Yeah, just in case. <laughs> nice. Just have yeah. it sit right next to you? Yeah. Will I be given anything by these guys? Like a gift card or a club or something? Maybe so. Oh, so yeah. Thank Maybe. you. Actually, I mean, yeah. you, you just may. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Great. Another false call name promise. Of Come on out one. to get your prize. It's definitely not a false promise. Well, we'll see. Definitely not. We'll see. There's no chance that Freddie's going to surprise me. He fucking better not surprise you. That fucking show. <laughs> Take it easy, what Dave. What apples? <laughs> what the fuck was I was that? I was a sip of water that pissed me Spit off. Down no right way. There. No way. It'd be great. No. It'd be just oh, great. What if no. Dave choked and died right there? <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing. Your lips, thing. Mike. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. <laughs> we just you leave. think Freddie will surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> we'll all just leave. Eventually his body will just disintegrate. Next producer, just bring him in. Oh yeah, it's Colin. He died like three months ago. <laughs> Choked to death on his own water. The idiot. <sighs> Aren't you looking forward to going to it or no? They're all good guys. I actually like all those guys. Yeah, I, I think it'll be a fun show. I think it'll be fine. I just think it, like golf is a tough thing to talk about in that element. So I don't know. Why yeah. they do it every week? Yeah. No, but yeah, but I know what he's saying like from a particip- participatory there we go thing where it's like we do like songs and stupid but, shit. But my guess is they just won't really do that. Right. Yeah. But but my point is a live show though. Yeah. If you just treat it like mo- most podcasts just do their podcast, right? Yeah. Yes. Like the stuff I'm worrying about and sweating over for this thing, other shows generally don't do. Correct. Right. right. It will only be expected. Because you said you're going to do something different and because people want to complain about whatever. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah of course, people are going to hate it. I, yeah, I know that, yeah. but that's fine. That, that just means they're passionate. But I, I don't mind that. Uh, so, yeah. So, again, if you're still listening and you're around, there's a ticket available. If you want, we'll be there. We'll have a good time. If you want to come by, take pictures, hang out afterwards. Colleen and Justin are going to go. You guys want to watch the Celtics after, Justin? Uh, of course. No, yeah. we will not be. Yeah, we will. And then it's we'll a take mu- separate cars. It's, it's, it's a, sw- it's it's a, a sw- swing show. Event. Wow. <laughs> By the way, I watched quite the swindling go down this morning. I don't what know happened? if Justin caught it and just didn't care, but, but they go. Justin goes, uh, "Yeah, should we meet here? We both park here. We could drive in." It's a good idea. And Dave goes, ah, "You know, ah, geez, you know what I think might be better." <laughs> no. If, ah, I'm just thinking here. What if we met at my house? <laughs> wow. And Justin's like, yeah, fine. No, this is out of the way. <laughs> this is out of the way if we go to Boston. Yes. From from the South Shore. Again, right. that and county guys. He's, guys he's legit shore. driving by my yeah, house. Yeah, I, I, I drive. I by. understand. I just thought it was funny. Dave was like, ah, jeez. He acted gonna... like he was really thinking about it. He's a deep thinker. Yeah. Where are you going to park? I'd say the only option is at Boston Common Garage. Yeah, that's a tough parking area. Yeah, for sure. Right it stinks. There. Yeah, I generally Uber when I go to the... I don't know where I'm going to park. I'm going to park there. I got a hustle from the game. Yeah. Oof. Emotional playoff game. Who knows? Harry Manan pitched on Saturday, so hopefully his arm's feeling okay. Uh, got a playoff game tonight. Didn't get a bye, so we're, we got we to sing for our supper here. Tough week. Monday, Thursday, Saturday, potentially. How many innings did he pitch? He just threw an inning. Oh, okay. He threw an inning. All right. Um, battled. Uh, uh, no runs. Um, so I'll go from there to the... Uh, the uh, I guess I'll take Rue 2 in there. And then I don't even, you're right. I don't even know. I, I'd like to leave the car. And have Justin just sitting in it. Now I know he's blind. I don't want him <laughs> near his fucking car. Well, just pretend it was a few days ago and you didn't see him. Or do I want him in my car? Probably not. Well, you never know. Yeah. So, I don't know. So I'll do that. And the radio then, presets are all changed. Yeah, exactly. Leave it alone. Um, so I'll do that and I'll be out there. And Rick, Riggs will be here. Riggs, he's very excited. Riggs says he's many things he got off his chest about this show, Dave. Is that I right? I don't know. Yeah. Did, I don't, Reg, did Riggs request I not be here on Wednesday? 
Uh, I mean, no, why was I, I moved? No, I just felt like I just was. I didn't. The polar thing was after, so I thought, well, Riggs Wednesday, then you Thursday. Okay. And then Greg's polar said, "Hey, I can do Thursday." I said, "Oh, Mike's already here." So well, there we go. Huh? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. I, right. I don't think Riggs. I don't know this. Riggs is gonna maybe he does. He's got a bunch of grievances. All right. He was one of the guys who was trying to get us fired famously with Portnoy that time. That we were waiting true. on waiting to be on the show together. <laughs> it was unbelievable that they were just talking about that, not knowing we were on hold. Just casual, like, yeah. Was like, fucking yeah, fire, fire this guy. <laughs> Now Riggs and I are, you know, great friends. Good buddies. That's what, th- probably three years ago? No, not quite. Two and a half. Two and a half. Because okay. three years ago, almost exactly, you started the okay, show. Okay, but yeah, but it was in 19. Yeah. Because uh, I, I saw him at the yeah. Super Bowl. No, you know what? Could it have been? Yeah, it I saw him at the Super Bowl in 20. Maybe it was January, but I saw him at the Super Bowl and we, were st- we, had to, we worked it out there. So okay. it was 19. It, yeah. I was thinking it was when you were considering leaving bars, like in 2020, no, 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 because no. we were getting along. No, because we had a, we talked it out, I remember, at the hotel in okay. Miami. All right. It was November yeah. or December. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, well, when did Barcelona Radio end? 2021? Yeah. Right? Is that right? Yeah, about yeah. a year ago. Huh. Sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, uh, Tommy John. When you wear Tommy John, you're as comfortable as can be. I got them on right now. Uh, uh, they've old, sold over 17 million pairs. 17 million pairs sold. Uh, dads everywhere love Tommy John underwear. Grab a pair of Tommy Johns for yourself too with Father's Day coming up. Shop tommyjohn.com slash Kirk for 25% off site-wide plus free shipping. Now, uh, get moving right now through June 15th. You got a couple of days. 25% off site-wide plus free shipping at tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. The most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear in your life. Do everything better uh, with Tommy John underwear. Go to TommyJohn.com slash Kirk. TommyJohn.com slash K-I-R-K. All right, so Wednesday Riggs is here. Then we go to Milton's after. So at least we know it's going to be me, you, Mike, and Justin. Is that the crew? That is the crew. Okay. At uh, Milton's. Huh. All right. And what do we, anything we need to hash out there? Is everything good? Milton's wise? Yeah, everything's good. Milton's wise. We just got to figure out what are we doing? Suits for the Wilbur? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. I don't want to, you know, you want a little casual as well. There'll be yeah. some alpha changes, I think. Okay. There'll be a lot going on, yeah. I think. I, I don't know. Wow. We got to, what's that? I said, what? Outfit changes. Thank you, big. Uh, <laughs> I we didn't gotta, expect to stop the show for it. Well, it's exciting. <laughs> we got to figure out what we're going to, who's in charge of making sure the everything's running on time? For these shows, because we have a hard out, we have two shows, there's a time to get out. Who's in charge of that? Me. You are? Yes. Oh, you're taking responsibility for that? Yes. Okay. What time does the first show start? 7.30. Okay. Was it going to actually start at 7.30? Yes, definitely. Okay. I'm just Well, yeah. sometimes these on shows the start a little yes. Well, so it's 7 o'clock. It, it, on the, I'm on the Wilbur website right now. It says the Kirk Manhattan show is at 7 o'clock. All right. Conan is on top of this. 7 o'clock. So you wouldn't believe. 7 okay. o'clock. Okay. 7 o'clock. So yeah. it probably will start like 7 10. Well, didn't we just say 7 30? Is that why it's in my 7 30 is tonight, the foreplay. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's uh, okay. two shows. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Okay. So we need somebody else in charge of this? Or nope. No? Nope. We're no. good. Okay. It's, fine. Yeah. it's all fine. Frankie and Trent will be there and it'll run smooth. <laughs> yeah. So the second show starts at what time, Justin? On the corner? 9 45. Oh, my God. That's so late. Yeah. That second show is going to be. 40 minutes. Thanks for coming, folks. Yeah, I have no... <laughs> go to the first show. That second Watch show. Watch this tape of Sako Man. Yeah. Watch this tape of the first show. Justin's going to read his favorite celebrities. for. The, I'm going to leave. That's it for the second show. <laughs> I think. Some people will enjoy that. I agree. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so you go to uh, blindmike.net. That's where you get everything, right? Yes. Anything new up there if I go to blindmike.net since last week or no? All no. Just all the links to everything. Patreon, merch. Uh, you can support the show for free on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Is the option... Is that... You said you're getting rid of those options? Are they It'll gone? Be, so in July, the one dollar tier will be gone. Gone, Gonzo. Unbelievable. Go yes. Blindmike.net right now. Blindmike.net. All the links you could possibly deserve. look at that link tree right there. Beautiful. It really is a thing of beauty. Yeah. Uh, and again, Craig's Twitter is up there for some reason. I don't know why. That well, is. some people might want to follow Craig. How do I find this guy? Does that help you? It doesn't. Okay. But hey, I don't Let's pay the guy. Uh, he should get some promotion. Well, he's pretty active on Twitter. Is he? Um. Yeah, this is a bad look. Okay, does anybody so believe there aren't feds at this point? Come on, he's quote tweeting an Idaho Tribune thing. Ah, Pat Perez is in Live Golf. Craig quote tweets it. Oh shit, <laughs> that's great. Did he retweet my podcast today by any chance? I didn't see that anywhere. Mike. <laughs> it's weird. No. If I'm being honest, I don't see that. <laughs> oh, actually, that reminds me, I forgot to tweet it out. So I'll do that after the show. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that can happen sometimes. Um, 
Uh, all right, so go, yeah, Blind Mike to see. There, there it is. Uh, merch store where you can get, uh, let me see here, 20 products. Let me see what, the, let me, let me, I'll give you right now. My, if I had to buy one right now, I'll tell you where I go. All like. right. Is <sighs> Gearhead merch? Blind Mike project? Why are you laughing? A lot of black stuff here. Well, which is good. I'm all for that. I would probably go with the, uh, you can get any color, by the way. Not any color, but you can pick. It's a nice looking uh, pullover hoodie. The yes. Why Are You Laughing hoodie. That's right. Zip up hoodies as well. For the low price of forty seven ninety nine for that hoodie, Dave. If you're looking for to <laughs> spend uh if we charged any less, I would make no money. That's <laughs> not the worst price in the world. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm no I've I've seen the bar store price. Yeah, go to bar store and get your hoodies. Is that is that before taxes and everything? Yes. So how much am I paying for that hoodie out of curiosity? Two hundred dollars. A thousand dollars? Let me see. Let me go. I'll buy one. But look at it this way. Nine dollars go to me. So is, really. that, is that what happens? <laughs> yeah. Say black. Can I get a different color or no? Yeah. I'm not getting an option there, Mike. I'm just getting mm. black when I get the color on that. All right. We'll, talk well give to, me a gray option. I'll talk to the board. Give me a gray option, <laughs> would you? I'm adding the hoodie. Proceed to check out. All right. Yeah, it's a, pretty, this is pretty easy. All right, I like this. This is easy. Good job. All right. oh, nice and clean. Nice, infomercial. nice like and clean. This. There you go. So you do it. Good. 20 products available. And I'll I can just click on this, and then, and then it's in my house? Yes, but I'm saying it's not. Some, sometimes they suck. Like, it's, right. you know, it can be a lot of crap. This is pretty clean. Good, good, good. Glad Why are you hear. laughing? Wine tumbler. That's right. You can't Mugs. see the logo. Pipe what, down. What's that, Justin? You can't see the logo. Where? Why are you laughing, wine tumbler? Yeah, why is it on the side in that thing? It's like you can't see. Yeah, why, why is that? I just assumed I couldn't see it. Because, is, is actually, there's actually two pictures available. In one is one side you oh, can't see. Oh, it, I see what you're saying. Is, yeah, that was very bizarre to me too. I don't know why they do that. I thought you meant on the cup, like it was faded or something. You couldn't see it. No, it's literally the only thing you can't <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, I don't know why that is either. Is it like your perspective on things? Is that like is it artistic? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's the same thing with all the the mugs. The same all, way. All the yeah. Mugs. yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, it's on the side. That's true. Why is that? No idea. Can you get a co- oh, there's the coffee mug. Yep. Yeah. Why are you? And if you look at the mug, it's a W and an L. And that's yeah. all I can see on it. <laughs> well, you can imagine. Oh, you look at the shirts and imagine what it would look like on a mug. And then the other side says the third option you can see is straight ahead though, on okay. the uh, coffee mug. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So, you, but you're not doing. Why are we not doing? By the way, since you have a guy who's doing the producing on this, why is there not a blind Mike's coffee? Oh. Oh, Justin there threw was. the idea out to me. Oh, I, I, had I was enough. going to announce it in um. Uh, Mississippi. Oh, you but, are. But then other shit happened. I was like, ah, it's not even a topical too busy joke. Stuffing, <laughs> too busy stuffing almonds in your face and staring <laughs> it wasn't at the wall. A, it wasn't a topical joke anymore. Oh, um, but yeah, I could have done it on Spotify, but it would have caught. I didn't think it was worth it. Really. Oh, the okay. day the day it happened, I texted Mike. I said, I, I have a website up. It's Blind Mike's Coffee. There was all these different flavors. So all we can ready have it go. done by the end of the day. And if I put a gun to your head, Dave, mm-hmm. and ask you how many. Callahan coffees have been sold. Yeah, just how many it, bags? How many that? bags? Your life is on the. Your children are right with guns to their head. You have your, to get your it. Your limousine driver is taking <laughs> taking the wheel. Sixty bags. Ooh, I'd say more. Over. You think so? I take the over. Yeah, you think so? I, take I think over. so. Okay, I'd say one hundred and thirty-eight. Yeah, people are pretty like particular about their. Coffee. I know. I think you know, some people might just... be tossing them the token buy though. Yeah, like probably to be nice. I think the Patriots out or there. just to try it. Yeah. Well, even you got you got Mina fans that are like, is it? Wouldn't this be funny? To have that's what they all. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't think anybody's actually bought it. All right. Huh. I don't know. You should do it. Or you should do a different thing that's more specifically you food wise. Right. Right. A different food. Blind Mike's pizza. That would be good. The frozen pizza. Yes, yes that, that would one, take one off. Bite. I think that would take off. <laughs> I saw Porno was at Stella's. Yes, I saw that. Yes. The place Andy Nolan and I made famous. A place you, you purposely didn't go to with Chris Clemmer. I wanted to go to, with Chris Clemmer. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Clemmer, by the way, week from today. <laughs> yeah. That's right. A week from today. Is that announced a, yet? Or what the hell is going on? This is the today. most secretive thing in Barstool Sports history. <laughs> he's going to be wearing a diaper. He's going to be the only guy talking about, you know, Richard Linkletter <laughs> movies with a diaper on. <laughs> That's not true, is it? <sighs> I don't know. I've heard rumors about them having to wear diapers. <sighs> Which, you know. There's no way he knew that going in. Well, I mean, you have to have some idea that you're going to be humiliated if you're doing bars to Lilo, though, right? I didn't think so. I thought it was like a talent competition. Literally, this I didn't, year's I, different, though. Yeah. yeah. What's that? This year's different than the Is previous it? Barstool Idols. Before, it was like Kevin, Dave, and Erica are like the 
the people like are the judges, and then they would go up and do stand. Actually, the yak, right? Would this they do a thing yeah, where just the yak? Would they do a thing where Portnoy was mean and Erica was kind of drunk and KFC would say dog a lot? Yes, would they yes. literally just take yes. Barstool. Yes, and Randy Jackson, by the way, is the captain. Uh, leader, first ballot Hall of Famer of the weird skinny guy. My, you mentioned Rushmore. that, yes. He, not even, there's not even a debate about it. He is so skinny now, it's like he's gone from where he was to looking like uncomfortable. Do you watch a lot of Name That Tune? That I don't, on? though. I know he's on it, okay. which yeah. seems, I hate to say this, beneath him? I thought he was on the biggest show on television like, I thought for like it was five even, years. I thought it was even beneath uh, Jenna Maroney that hosts it. Who's that? Um, from 30 Rock. Jane Krakowski, I think oh, is her real name. Oh, uh, that's not her name, is it? Uh, Jenna Maroney's your name. Oh, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I could see that, though. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but, like, I mean, like, American Idol was, like, the biggest show for, like, six years in a row. It was yeah. huge. Yeah. You look sickly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like fatties figured it out now. Like, now they're losing weight where it's, like, happening in a normal way. Is that right? Right? Well, who's, the, who's the woman from Pitch Perfect? She just came out as a lesbian. Uh, Rebel oh, Wilson? Uh, Rebel Wilson. Oh, she came out? normal now. Yes. Her, right? Oh. I don't think so. No, I don't think she does. I she think she does. looks weird skinny. She doesn't, I, she doesn't look weird skinny like, what's his name you just said? No, but I think yeah. she, but I'm, I'm happy for if that's, but I, I think they look, I think when people lose, they just look weird. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would not put her on the Mount Rushmore though. Okay. No. Could just be that you're not used to seeing him that way. Well, Randy Jackson looks like crazy skinny. What are you laughing at? Just Randy Jackson. Yes. He looks awful. It's like horrific. It's just weird. Yeah. But I mean, if he's Rebel happy, Wilson I guess. Fine. What's that? Rebel Wilson looks fine. That's what I just said. Yeah. She looks good. Yeah, I don't know. Like she lost a shit ton of weight and looks normal. Yeah, good for her. Which I feel great. like 10 years ago, to your point, Randy Jackson was kind of 10 years ago. I think they've kind of figured it out of how to... Like most of McCarthy did it as well, right? Yes. Oh, they had worked on... Um, I don't know if most of McCarthy's that skinny. Oh, I thought she lost all the weight. No, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think she had... I think... I'm guessing Randy Jackson had the surgery. Yes, well, he did. And Rebel Wilson didn't. Probably. Then there you go. That's probably why. Yeah, I think you can't... Because at that point, right, you can't eat. Right. Well, you're not supposed you're to. Not, your stomach, like, I know they people. take out, like, a portion of your stomach. Right. So when you feel full, you're only, like, actually 30% full. Have you considered this, Justin? Uh, no, I'm, I'm chugging along. We'll get you a deal. Oh, yeah, he's losing weight as we speak. Oh, that's right. People we, in my family have had that surgery before. Has it worked? It did work, yes. It just feels like a, const like a constricted life, though. Like, you just can't ever eat. Yeah, we'd go out to eat, and my mom would be like, oh. Oh, like, she had it? Yeah, she had okay, it. Yeah. She would be like, oh, I'm just going to eat, like, a quarter of this burger. Yeah, it's it doesn't like, sound like a what fun. Is, what's the, like, calorie intake? Probably like a 1,500. I, I, I have no idea. Okay. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Why, are you thinking about it, Mike? <laughs> I'm not. But no, okay. Just consider it. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, all right, anyway, so Briggs is here Wednesday. Uh, then we're off to Milton's, and then Thursday, Mike and Greg Pohl. Uh, it's an interesting week. Again, we're just we're yes. mixing up. We're trying to, our best. Then we're gone for two weeks, although I suspect you'll hear a reaction from us some form or fashion next week if things happen in New York that are interesting. <laughs> I, just, I think you just kind of have to. It feels yeah. unlikely that we're not going to weigh in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Although maybe he'll win. I don't know. It's certainly a possibility. When do they yeah. announce the, the contestants? Do we know? I would assume it'd have to be like late this week, I think. It has right? to be sometime because they're I doing not, something today. Was that Mike? Am I not supposed to say another contestant? Well, I've heard the know? rumors. No, yeah, certainly okay. not. Right. No. I mean, it's your life. I mean, you know, you know, <laughs> I don't work here. I'll <laughs> well, say if you want to get your head cut off by somebody <laughs> right. else. I mean, right, you might right, right. I'm not saying I approve of it. I might wind up at the back of a truck, yeah. but you know, that's how you want to do it. I understand. But uh, all right, anyway, um, all right, well, uh, anything else or no? Ah, whatever. We'll talk to you Wednesday. Uh, all right, see you later. Goodbye.